if yeah. you didn't say I was racist, was the racist the bring up the N word here. Very heavily implied it. Oh no, Destiny's back. I just back. called oh, on no. my own stream. I was like, if someone says his name one more time, he's rejoining. And then the moment I said that, <laughs> you rejoined. If you say the N word in private three hey. times in a mirror, Destiny shows up. Yeah, you. that's exactly how uh, it works. Hey, you want the real hot take? And I'll debate anybody to the death on this. The N word. It's either public property or it's nobody's property. Either everybody can say it or everyone needs to stop saying it, black people included. Okay. Well, because for any argument you can it. make, oh, for any fuck argument fuck you can make for a white person Destiny, saying it in private being harmful, right you know what? Black people shouldn't be able to say it in rap songs. 100%. It's a, harmful. It perpetuates bad me? stereotypes. Well, There's music. a lot of people in the black community that don't guy? even like that word. Shouldn't do it. 100% fight me on it. What the Vivian, fuck are you, you doing right now? This guy? You must be pretty racist yourself to be associated with this I this believe. Fella. I mean, I'm literally just sitting there going, what the fuck are you doing right now? I mean, this is like 90% memes. <laughs> I have to... This is not memes. I'm 100% that I will yeah, die on this hill. I've got my musket and everything. Okay, every person say it or nobody so, can. No, I absolutely don't, absolutely don't agree with that take. I think it's borderline racist. Sorry. Okay, so, so, oh, wait, he gets borderline racist. I get outright racist. Okay, wait, all wait, right. Wait, wait, no, Vosh, I didn't say you were outright racist. I said it was racist for you so, to use the fucking N word on stream. That's what I I'm feeling a bit of a squad W moment right here. I'm I mean, so, so, uh, so, so first of all, first of all, okay, hold on. This is what I wanted to say before. All right, look, look. Um, and maybe now it's even better now that uh, Destiny is here. Um, because we had, no, 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 because we want, um, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? No, 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 no. Look, we You're, so welcome, <laughs> You're so welcome, internet. You're so welcome. Uh, because Vivian has had a problem of, like, as she's just as stated, has a problem of how I do my platforming, right? Um, and she says, uh, Bosch, and then uh, Destiny as well, right? Um, this yeah, is a, big I have a big problem with how Destiny does his platforming. Yes, I know, 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 I So, I was wondering <laughs> if we could actually have a conversation on this, right? Like, in yeah, let's do it. Oh, Brian no. uses this platform in horrible ways. What the fuck is Demon Mama doing here for so long? Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, dude, you are so. Oh my god, you have such a weird complex uh, about me. It's one of the funniest things ever. Do not call me, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm very sorry uh, about my, that. My envy friend, my envy friend, uh, uh, with my envy friend Destiny, right? Um, we could have like an actual conversation on this on another date. I uh, have an actual conversation. Well, I'm on, I really want because I really want to get to this because. <laughs> Am I am I doing wrong? Am I doing this wrong? Like, is it wrong for me to let some other people in? I I refuse to abandon people. I hate abandoning uh, people, right? So people have told me that there are certain members of my community, right? Big members of my community who've been problematic. This right? is so wild. I've kept them around because one, so I want to see their uh, hear the ideas. I want to see if people can change, right? If there's something that we can actually tackle, let's tackle that. If it's just a matter of the ideas, well then, ah, uh, whatever, right? Um, but. Uh, but then I've get, got endless. I mean, this from the fucking beginning since I started doing fucking panel shows. It's been this endless struggle, right? I've yeah. lost friends over this, and so I'd like to have a conversation. Um, and so we have Bosch and we have uh, uh, Destiny. Apparently, all people are problematic. Yeah, right? Demon all, Mama, all the most problematic damager of the internet. You know what? Wait, I don't I, think we need a conversation. I mm -hmm. think we need an ultimatum. Destiny, say it. Right now. Say it. Pro yeah, Prime Case will say it too. Both of you can say it. Prime, oh, you give me permission. Gosh. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we need a test. We need okay. a bridge. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you don't have to no. test that on my. You don't have to test that front of my channel. No, fuck that shit. Uh, no. That's ridiculous. It's not strong enough, right? You can see no, the no, no, no. Can I give you permission to break? You said you did say you did say you would die on the hill. Inconsistent principles, right here. I assume if you're willing to die on the hill, you'd be willing to stake Twitch, the, the, Twitch, the Twitch channel on it, huh? I know you're fucking watching, and I did not give any permission to say the N word here. Uh, I know, I don't wanna, I don't no, wanna... I'm a good Christian white boy. Nobody I'm not saying, saying nothing. The okay. N word on stream. Nobody should be. Doing it. I can't even yeah, think um, it. But okay. Unless so... we're listening to it in a rap song, then it's okay. Okay. All right. So we can I'm... have the N word debate. If you want to talk about N word debate right so. now, we can. But like, uh, like I actually would have, like, have a larger conversation platforming, um, because I think it'd be really good. So I'm gonna ask you. All right. So uh, Viv, would you be down for that uh, later on? Sure. All right. Uh, Destiny. Um, sure. What I okay. love platforming, and, yeah, I'll have it, okay. Gosh, but I can't okay. say the N word during it, okay. I'm on probation. No, I don't know. If, yeah, no, no. Right, this no. feels like a platform. Like we might as well, like if we're gonna talk about platforming, I think we should also hit up like other like topics that aren't talked about much. So, for instance, <laughs> cancel culture, um, whether or not Twitch fairly applies its terms of service, um, whether or not there are double oh, standards for men and women in society. Everybody um, knows. Uh, Twitch uh, we could talk fairly. about booby streamers too. Booby streamers. Oh, we should talk about. Uh, hey, I talked about that. Hey, I talked about that yesterday. 
Are, are trans athletes okay? That's another hey, one that no one minute. ever hey, talks hey, about. Prime, um, prime, what prime. other esoteric topics are there out there? Prime. I didn't hear my invite. Uh, okay. Um, you be- oh, you okay, can't. Well, you can't you fucking spring this shit on me no. after today and not invite no. me to that fucking who, panel. Who have you, you irresponsibly platformed, do you think? Well, I still didn't hear it. Oh no! Have you ever uh, irresponsibly platformed anyone? Uh, no, no, no! I didn't hear it. No, I want my invite. That's why I invite those two. That's hey, why I invite I, actually, you know what? I'll cop up to it. I have irre- irresponsibly platformed someone. Okay. Recently, I platformed a goddamn tanky. Okay, because I wanted peace with the community, but they were a motherfucking genocide denier, and I feel bad because now there are people in my community who think he's more reasonable than he is. Okay, I'm owning up to it. That was my my reasonable my my most recent bad hey, platform he always comes off as way more reasonable than you and that fucking pains me because i'm pretty anti uh anti marxist leninist yeah, well, can't want my, i want my invite prime i got stuff to say on this i got a lot to say on even this if, even if you're the most uh even if you're the most fucking like chomskyite fucking anarcho syndicalist anarchist you're still like ostensibly a fucking anarchist so like it pains me to see hakeem like just dunk on you. Maybe you just have some really strong underlying authoritarian tendencies that lead you to sympathize with his talking points. <laughs> I think everybody hey. who's been watching me for any amount of time knows that I ain't true. Gina, this is fine. Hey, Dom, Relax. This is, I mean, Gina, I, this is not bad. This is not bad. Gina, this isn't bad. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not Gina. Having that conversation. Oh, yeah. Huh. Um, I got uh, enough shit. Fanatic- Fanatically can't see you on on stream like your camera's. Right, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Um, but yeah, so I want so I'm gonna have so I'm gonna send you guys invites for this. Um, but Demon Mama, yeah, you haven't actually platformed anyone problematic. Uh, I know you had something to say. Oh, I got but a lot Demon of shit. Mama. No, wait, I was just Demon accused Mama. of being one of the problematic people to be platformed. Demon, You're not gonna Demon bring Mama. me on. Demon, 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 oh come on, that's bullshit. Demon, you're too problematic. Oh. Sorry. Too <laughs> problematic for Prime Kai's. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is it true that Demon Mama has platformed Vouch? Oh, yes, it's true. I have. <laughs> Not Vouch. Okay, all right. It was so, like it was um, like putting it was like putting a a fucking uh a, a fucking ladder on top of like a tiny block. That's the platform that I put you on. If, if you started my career. Can I get, can I get true. confirmation? Is using your is using your real name? Is that doxing you? Who's it can be if it's trying to be hidden, be. but. Like, like you're in, you. I'm just saying, like your real name's pretty public knowledge, right? Wait, like, mine? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, my name's public knowledge. Yeah. yeah. So if I use your real name to refer to you at some point in another conversation, like that's not like me trying to dox you, right? That is perfectly fine. You can call me okay. Fatty. Yeah. Just, big, just, just because I got banned from somebody else's channel like a couple of a uh, couple of days ago for using your real name, and they were like, "You're trying to dox Vosh," and I was like, "Um." fucking okay yeah no that's that's unreasonable (laughs) people call me fatty and all the time uh yeah um okay we all gotta go by our like uh what everyone thinks we are right so steven is like uh uh steven cuban uh n-word in private guy right and then vosh is the uh sexual harasser racist uh pedophile like a hundred other things right like it's just like so 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 um in lefty communities they don't even call him steven they just call him gusano so maybe that's (laughs) the so um the reason fanatic came in here uh, is because uh destiny wanted oh, to God. do to do the thing right and i'll and everyone if you want don't want to be here for this um then you should exit now Wait, i would just have memeing what is what is this oh 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 you were just oh you were having oh, okay never mind wait, hold, having... wait, hold on it's it's 1 30 a.m and i'm old yeah. um, i'm down to have a, a conversation down the line about responsible platforming no, 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 no. That's, and the, the, that's the platform thing. That's some other time. No, no. Uh, Fanatic came in because Destiny uh, talked about the N word. Uh, that's what you wanted to fight there. Uh, There's gonna be peace in our time. Now. Wait, can we? Wait, can we do that? I can get so many virtue signaling points right now if I take um, if I take the anti N word side. I could really boost my left reputation. Okay. Yeah. Wait, if anyone... Are you talking about black people can't say it either? I am. Well, I'm no, saying that it should be that's position. a word for everyone or a word for nobody. That's my point of view. It's the worst take ever. It's the best wait, take in the world. Wait, wait before we move on. Time, I've debated this in BGG with like just inside of like just a random whatever chat in there. And those people, like, first off, they were getting angry for, because I was using it. And then it, it, like they were like threatening to ban me. And then you had to give them permission 
for black people to be able to use. There can well, be the problem is that, well, here's the problem is if I say in my discord, I think we have a blanket ban. Cause if I say black people can use it, then like we're in this weird world where you have to like send yeah. in a fucking driver's license of yourself. It's like, well, look, I'm black. So I can say the N word in discord. And then we don't know if somebody can yeah. say their friend's driver's license. Like, yeah. Bro, like I want to drop n bombs in DGG server. Can you go ahead and like lend me your ID so I can ship it to one of the mods? Like, I don't know, that's a weird world. Maybe. <laughs> we because we, we don't like paperwork in our Discord, and people have been like, "Why are you preventing people of color from being able to use the n word?" That's their word. And I'm like, "The fuck do you? Do you want a picture of their hands? Do we? Do we need a fucking race ID channel? Everyone submit their fucking 23 and Me results to determine whether or not they can. What's the line there? Look, um, look, they, look, we need we need we need a race checkpoint every time someone goes into a Discord. You gotta also, you know. Gotta Let's be real. It's Discord. How comfortable are you going to be submitting yourself to a racial database? I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, especially since I'm a racist I mean, man. What if white just people just can say it, but it gets tattooed in their forehead so everyone knows they're marked like in uh, *Inglorious Bastards*? You can tell uh, if people type if it's their race. Oh no, they're not typing. They're just inside of the actual voice chat, like we're, we're voice chatting. You're already like. Got really good at people people like haven't you heard? Haven't you heard you Steven Crowder's recent imitation? It was like spot on. Okay, you listen, I just heard great by that voice. Come off it. Yeah, hold on. We just had a there was like a three hour conversation here about there's no difference between men and women, and I don't think you're gonna uh sell right. each other on that. That is I'm exactly the much on the on the, on the race voice 100%. thing, okay? Oh Christ. Did what you know that it actually that, hold on, though? Mr. Phonetic? Okay, Jeez. you probably don't know this, but did you know that if you increase the resonance of your vocal cords, you can actually sound blacker. And if you uh decrease the pitch, uh wait, what how did this go again? Oh, no. Where is uh Alice at? All right, get there. your uh, get your, uh, your uh, scalp forensics tools out. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh. Hmm. What the fuck is was, this? That was all semantics. Don't worry. By the way, um, I just I just want to I just want to say by the way, I'm not saying we should or that it's good. I'm gonna put on the baby voice in a second here. But if you could actually sell n-word passes, I think that that like might single-handedly pump up the um you know the us economy. back from the economic yeah, like recession. The Catholic, Catholic Church with indulgences. Why, sure. why why is it we or why is it that it's always fucking white dudes on the internet going like, oh, we should be able to say the N word in this situation or that? So, well, why actually, because in newsflash, ninety five percent of political spaces online are fucking white dudes. Okay, that's all you're yeah, gonna but, find but, here. But right? also, there's uh, nothing I stopping white dudes from saying the N word. Uh, well, we we aren't even having the real conversation yet. Didn't I'm say slurs. Maybe we just shouldn't. Like, I don't think I should say slurs. Like, again, hold on, hold on, hold on. The only, the only horse that I have in this race is I really don't like essentializing character traits from behavior. Wait, we're doing the um, horse discourse now? So even if you don't believe that white people should say the n word, I don't think that you can then say like, ah, they said it racist Wait, i think it can be indicative discourse? i think you can infer but i think that's lazy thinking the reason i talk about this the main reason i give this example is because i actually grew up with um there was a high school friend of mine who was white he grew up in a really 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 black really low income community he spoke in aave he mm -hmm. said the n-word nobody minded because the way he said it it was really really clear he was not doing this in like an edgy white boy n-word sort of way that was just how he talked. So sometimes when I hear people essentialize it, I just think back to that guy whose name that I will not share, and I just I, I just wonder how he's doing, you know? That's There's my only might, horse. Well, in this race. Is, I can tell you, Vash, how he's doing. Listen, if he stayed within that specific neighborhood and continued to use that word, he's probably doing perfectly fine. If he migrated outside of that area and then decided to use it around other niggas, chances are he's not doing particularly fine. I'm not, I, I just I'm, hope I'm, he's I'm, doing I'm okay. okay. Away but like, the, the bottom line is that white <laughs> dudes can <laughs> say the end. Word. They just don't want the negative consequences. That I go feel along like I need okay. A when lot we say okay, let's be a little bit generous with the language. When we say people want to say the end word, what they're saying is they want to say it without getting their lives destroyed. That's what they mean. Like it's kind of like if you. This is like the game that we play where you're like, "Can I go to the bathroom?" And she's like, "You mean don't you mean may you go to the bathroom?" It's like, "Well, no, technically, I mean, may I have your permission to use the restroom free of repercussion in this particular period?" Like, yeah, there's like a whole bunch of subtext. Nope, like, obviously, when people say, "Can I do something?" They mean, "Can they do something without getting in a fuck ton of trouble?" Like that's yeah. like asking your like wife, like, Destiny "Can I go cheat on you?" And fanatic? she's like, "Yeah, of course you can." And then you do, it, and she's like, "Oh, well, I'm divorcing you." are like, "Wait, you said I could." It's like, <laughs> "You didn't ask me if I'd be okay with you, though. You didn't ask me your freaking consequences." No, I'm not. This is going to be wild. Look, look, chat who look, has this look, fucking we, nose apparently up my fucking asshole, by the way. Like, uh, I, I didn't call you a slur earlier. I called you a straggit. Straggit is not a slur. Fuck you. Mm. I will buy on that look, Wait, what is straggit oh, no, mean? Oh, we're doing are. the straggit discourse now. Hey, listen. Wait, what does straggit mean? Hold on. What is straggit? Oh, straight words straight like the ass slur. slur. What? Yes, this? Can I see the ass slur on Twitch? Because I sleep with men. Am I allowed? 
No, you're not. No, you can't. Okay. I'm unironically asking. I'm, I'm used to YouTube TOS. No, 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 no. YouTube TOS is the Wild yeah. West, baby. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm, I'm bound out. See ya. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. And I'm sorry. Well. Okay, everybody, this go is, this, Jack. This is giving me cancer. I need to leave. Bye. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reiterate. Yeah. The reason I don't want white people saying slurs is because it makes me feel powerful that I can say things that they can't say. All right. It's the same mm. thing with being gay. I can call them the F slur, but if they say it to me, homophobic. Right? White sure. genocide. Exactly. I think That's I think the, the good measure the good measure of uh, of whether or not you can actually say that is basically like has it been used against you to denigrate you for something that you are so not if you're just like a straight boy who's been called the f sir right because everybody's like ah oh, gay bad you're gay ha <laughs> ha right but like if you've actually been called it to denigrate you because of some immutable characteristic that you have you can use it to like refer to yourself I think that's fine I, that's I actually point. think. I actually think the strongest argument for the whole white people can't use the n-word thing is actually the same reason we encourage table manners. When you set standards, even if they're arbitrary to people, the degree mm -hmm. to which they're willing to follow it usually signals their willingness to act in good faith in other types of discourse. So I even if we acknowledge that saying the n-word itself, and I just mean saying this it, is like the, the vocal expression, the noise coming ever. from your mouth, doesn't hurt anyone, unless I guess you do it really loud in their face or something. You could argue that Thank accommodating you, that type Thank of you behavior so much. and normalizing it would make it harder for us to detect actual racists. So in that case, the it's more of a utility argument about being able to distinguish between people willing to follow those social standards and those not willing to follow them. At least you know, that's how I understand it. Uh, this, this to clip, which that. That. It's gonna be right like that, the, the, uh, the magical spell clip, right? Tomorrow morning, you're gonna see this on, uh, on, on Twitter again, right? They're gonna give you shit. Yep, I'm we've, we've to me saying you shouldn't say the N-word, I'm probably going to get cancelled for this. We've had an eight-hour fucking panel here, and the only thing that's going to be on Twitter in the morning is Destiny coming in and saying, like, oh, I think either everybody should be able to use the N-word, or, like, nobody. Oh, that's good, that's a good-ass take. It's depressing. It's not, though. Look, 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 here's the reason why it's not. Because, like, the, so when we've had this conversation in the past, right, like, like I mean, I, I'm pretty, I, I, I know you know this. Like, the whole idea about, like, the, um, like, these, like, Making a word into a euphemism such that it loses its power is like absolutely like an, an insanely necessary thing, right? When we recognize like, so me growing up, there was a point in time where I knew, and most black people have known. Let's say if a white person called you that word, it was like licensed to just, just go absolutely ham, and it gave them in like extraordinary amounts of power, such that like someone could talk about their mom, you know, you might want to go there with them, whatever. But if that word if that word came out, like it was like for sure pandemonium. And I think thank you so much, Pepper Cakes. Okay. You're being really be generous. So powerful. I think that was a thing, and we've seen some attenuance from from it, right? Like okay, here's that, where I'm gonna just this whole thing. Questions. Okay, this is just here's the thing. Okay, I uh, think that the okay, I I just want you to know I want to video game myself every time I say n word on your stream, Pine Caves. Okay, just that expression just triggers the fuck out of me. But okay, listen. Okay, Get we down. have reached a point where black culture is ubiquitously like the some of the most popular culture and at the very least the, the western world okay where rap and hip hop are like the most popular parts of music most people because know how to use the n word we must in be like bold. a um, i don't know if i would say brotherly or in a friendly manner it's usually pretty obvious or easy to pick out when somebody's doing it like i have a hard time believing that like somebody you know like says it to somebody and you're like wait a second was that guy calling me a racial slur or are these like people just like talking or joking around with each other and like i don't agree with the argument where it's like oh well we take it back when you use it in a friendly way because there are even examples of like black people using it like in an offensive manner to each other but somehow like that's okay and doesn't like cause any like problems either so like i don't know like it's just like, i just think no, i just think it's such a silly dumb like if you hear like two white dudes and they have like a black friend and they're talking to each other and they're calling each other like n-word as or whatever like the idea that somebody would look at that and be like no oh, this is fucking horrible oh my god that was it's like dude these guys don't give a fuck obviously they don't give a fuck i don't know if this is really contributing to like more racism in society like who the fuck cares but that's not true. Look, for, first off, even when we're using it, like, so, so, like, we do use it as a euphemism, like, meaning something positive. Like, yeah, me neither, right? Pen Ness. Me neither. Use it, like, as, like, co sort of like an expletive, but not not meant to dehumanize, right? It has an entirely different meaning. Like, even if I'm like, I hate that stupid nigga, right? Like, that's not me thinking he's, like, a dehumanized person. It's not me trying to speak no negatively, uh, or I'm not trying to be, yeah, I'm not trying to dehumanize him or devalue him as a person with this word. It's more of like, this is just a random expletive. I gotta, you, like, replace it with any word, right? But it's not, it's not meant the same thing whereas in the past the way that word was used specifically against us was something particularly <laughs> and then also you have this whole thing what where the fuck it's like is you, going you on someone a 
past where you can reasonably expect because of the shared oppression, because of the <laughs> in this case, that you know, like the likelihood that they're meaning it in that specific way is kind of nil, right? Like for example, I, me, my brothers and I, we make mama jokes, right? That like he might say something to me and I might say your mama back to him. When he, when I'm saying that to him, he knows that he has all of the- Dude, I am fucking on board. You're making my private language argument right now. Like, yeah, with some people you know, 100%. No, 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 no. What, I'm, what I'm saying is because of the fact that we have the same, same mother and he knows that I love my mother. Thank you, Ivy Soros F12. Way, Thank you. I, I could possibly Thank you. be meaning it in any negative way. When it comes to you and the Yo, N-word, semicolon. I can't make that same assumption because you don't have that same oh, Sure, but so I don't know how- but here's like, you Yeah, but like, but here's like, two, here's like two counterexamples where I feel like it, like we might intellectualize this argument, but it's not how it plays out. So one, now, Thank I don't you, care if you tell me it's not the truth. It is the truth. Other minorities in the U.S. can use the N-word and they can get away with it. Like gangsterly yes, Asian are, people could do it and Hispanic people could do it and they can get away with it and they're fine. They'll do it and nobody's going to be like, wait, you can't do it. What? Uh, mileage may vary. Mileage may vary depending on how, depending on the type of person you are, but you can definitely get away with it way more than, I'm pretty sure even in fucking, sure. tra- I want to say even in training day, I think some of the Hispanic people that do it, I might be wrong, but I, I'm like almost positive that I've like seen it even like t- on TV <laughs> and people are just like, oh yeah, sure, whatever. Um, but then also- now, Korean dudes in LA are just like, uh, sure. honestly, also, more than black people. African so people, sorry. I'm pretty so sure sorry. African I'm, people I'm, who I'm, do I'm not gonna have- say, I'm going to say this, uh, my age, so my Asian and Hispanic brothers and sisters, uh, don't say the N-word around me. Like, I, I don't right. give you that pass. Sure, that's so fine. Cool. Say that, but like, I don't, sure. I don't, I'm not sure if that's actually the case. Sure. There was, like, also, also don't die. Jennifer Lopez. This is wild. There was, there was like literal pandemonium on the internet because she used the word it, in her song with Rock ja Rule. This, this, idea that, this, this idea that other people of color don't get shit for like using the N-word, uh, it's like one of the, it's a, it's a huge part of like the inter or intra like people of color discourse especially in la and new york like there's entire like like people all they talk about when they talk about like six nine is can, can he say it right yeah like, or little pump yeah of course yeah but i mean like, like that, I, I think that just honest... goes that just goes to show like how silly and convoluted oh, thank you the hexagram discourse we got a lot of like, wild shit we're not going we're, on we're actually like we're almost in like this is we're, we're gonna this talk land after. of simulacra where we don't even know like what the fuck a slur is anywhere. We're we're arguing this. We're like, well, hold on. Can this person like actually say this word? Does that make them racist? Like, we're not actually even asking like, is the person racist? Is this a racist? So we're, we're asking like in the in the in the societal standards that we built. Like, oh, the, like how do you even determine who can say a certain word without all of us getting upset? It? it just seems like such a stupid fucking waste of time to me. I don't know. Well, I mean, they pretty much them. any link. Wait, pretty much any language decorum is going to be highly arbitrary. No, I mean, no, 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 wanna, no, wait, 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 wait. no, no. Hold on. You do this a lot. You do this really weird um, analysis Uh-oh. where you deconstruct oh, everything and then try to make everything sound equally oh, vapid. Shit. That is not true. There are plenty of conventional language things that do make a lot of sense, and they're not all arbitrary. But I'm saying that in the term where we have a word that literally means like friend or brother or homie or whatever, that like. This word, like, I'm not saying that all language convention is thrown out or no insults mean anything or everything is arbitrable. I'm just saying that with this particular word, it is like in so much of the popular lexicon that I have a hard time believing that, like, most people here and it's like, oh, that was used as a discriminatory, like, angry, insulting manner. That's all I'm saying. Well, yeah, sure. But like, from, wait, 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 wait. I just want, I just want to say that from a, from a practical. Okay. I just want to say that from a practical perspective, the problem is that there's literally no way to ameliorate this without making life easier for racist people. I mean, you can argue True. like uh, there are obviously contextual ways in which the N-word is not being used in a Thank racist you, way. Phantom and Green I agree Man. with that. Contextually, it's actually pretty easy to determine whether or not the N-word is being used in a racist way. You can, I mean, you can tell. Um, but we have a pretty blanket standard on this sort of thing, in large part because, and we have historical precedent to demonstrate this, if you give any leeway on that, or if you even hint at leeway on that, usually going to be used in bad faith by people who are not looking to use it in the uh, brotherly context. But where does this That's happen? Not the, like, not, are we going to see wait, wait, Lauren wait. Southern use the N-word and we're like, oh shit, oh no, now we have to debate if she meant it like as an insult. No, again, no wait, hold on. Not, for wait, wait, I'm not like, saying that. So that's something that you do, Destiny. So you say dumb shit. I'm not saying that, okay? No, no you're I'm saying, saying that we're going to give that... racist people leeway. Can you give me an example, a single example, <laughs> like where, we, where all of a sudden a race person that would have just said like thug or some other dog whistle for a black person now uses the N-word and everybody's like, oh no, it's so confusing now. Yeah, so the main reason that that's an issue is the abandonment of the dog whistle. There was somebody who wrote some paper on this, and I'm sure it would be great if I could remember their name. But usually racists or any other kind of bigot being forced to euphemize is generally effective for the anti-racist or the anti-bigot because the euphemization indicates the development of a social trend that they have to tiptoe around. Whereas if you abandon the euphemism, Trump did this in many ways. You know, Trump went from um, Trump, pretty open white nationalist rhetoric at some points. And um, and the abandonment of the euphemism usually means that there's like a broader movement being built, that they're being empowered. Squashing those movements may involve 
arbitrary and often confusing and unfun social standards with regards to decorum and language use. But I think, and this is just my opinion, that if there's any discussion to be had on this with any meaningful, practical change to the real world, it should probably be done when there's less of an implicit threat of it being misused by actual racists, you know? Okay. I just but don't it, see uh, that uh, ever uh, uh, opinion. Uh, really, really quick, I was just going to say, look, for, first off, like, it's crazy, because I, I love it. The, we, black people use this phrase all the time. I don't know how familiar you guys are with it, where we say that they love us, they hate us, or everybody wants to be black, but nobody wants to be black. Like, both of those things refer to the fact that, yes, you're right, blackness is all around the lexicon, right? And all, and like, it's, like, uh, obviously, hip-hop is one of the largest... Most true about trans people, too, by like, the way. Whatever, That's true right? about but trans people, by the way. Just the simple act of trying to get people to actually identify with some of the struggles that we face, like, all of a sudden, there's crazy, crazy, crazy backlash. You want to start talking about things that are, like, super popular amongst African-Americans, like reparations and then you got white folks that are like hell no nah, hell to the no nah, right like like less than like 30 percent of them are will get behind that but then they want to get behind the words like the n-word or they want to start appropriating things of our culture that are popular or fun that they've used for like entertainment like rap or whatever right they'll use um, maybe we'll that see we do our style our clothes our music our culture influence but True. literally not identify with a single aspect of any of the oppression or any of the struggle or identify with how they relate to that struggle so then it's like yo i don't want somebody to feel like well look look you guys are really cool and you guys are really popular let me just go ahead and share this thing with you guys that we used to use to completely dehumanize you guys but let's go ahead let, let me use that because right now it seems kind of cool and oh it's, it's going to be absurd to while literally not identifying with any of the things that actually have came with that oppression can i ask an honest question to, like super quick to, to, to euphemize it, it just, this just doesn't make it doesn't make any sense like i understand that there are issues with with people not identifying with like actual struggles of course but like this idea that you're upset that a population of people like won't identify with uh, with with more like fundamental struggles of the black community, which I acknowledge, of course, is definitely a thing that exists in the black community. Now, that's not to say that no struggles have ever been overcome in the black community. There's been, at least over the past 250 years in the United States, significant progress in that front. Obviously, everything hasn't been solved, okay? But to say that like, um, you know, like, oh, well, you guys don't identify 100% with this, so we're not comfortable with that. But then you still use that language in popular media to make millions or billions of dollars off of like white audiences and then to expose them to that. And then to turn around and get upset when people start emulating it, it's just like, that's really weird. Like, we want you to buy our clothes. We want you to buy our shoes. We want you to buy our songs. But, like, don't, like, use, like, I feel like the perfect, like, m microcosm of this was that poor fucking white girl that Kendrick dragged up on stage to sing her, to sing his fucking <laughs> song with him, and who had no idea if she was supposed to rap the N-word or not, and did it. And the, and even Kendrick got confused, where he didn't care. And then the audience started booing, and then Kendrick was like, uh, okay, wait, hold on. No, I don't think you can oh, do yeah, that. It was definitely like, dumb. That, I do want to, I do, wait, I do want to say though really quickly because there's actually something important here hold on so you said they want you to consume your culture buy your shoes what have you just to be clear while black people may be up and about doing the music and saying the n-word the people behind the merchandising and publication of these cultural trends are generally speaking not what? that sympathetic to black Boarding struggles. and not relevant to the slightest. Don't come at Okay, hold on. Okay. That might be true. That, wait, 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 buy their performances now at the nobody's end of the day, saying that being... hold on, oh, hold on. Nobody's I, know saying, I know what you're saying i don't uh, need you to on. nobody is no 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 stop stop one at a time because we're not going to get into this okay. 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 i understand I got, that I at the interrupted. end of the day the head of a lot of these companies may or may not be white people i know there are more black people that own record labels and products and whatnot today than before yeah. um and like dr dre jay-z or example, I, people I, that I, have I, I just want to finish my point yeah, that changes oh. anything because lucy and grange still signs all their checks like as sure. and, and, and i'm sure at the end of the day at the end sure wait please so the reason why that matters is because very often using the blanket they Thank there you, can Candace. apply or infer some the implication that there's yeah, some deliberate worry, double we'll standard going on or moreover that like the black community is trying to have their cake and eat it which is generally not the case don't so worry. i We're not again you reacted stream. very strongly We're just gonna upload i apologize because it's a distinction that looks really good but means absolutely nothing so like, wait hold on asking... wait hold on this is a problem oh that i have God. with you you're so sensitive to rhetorical tricks that you unironically pull the debate tactics bullshit people whine about with you. And anytime I make a salient point that you feel might have looked good, so you bloody. call me out as though the only this reason so I could have possibly bloody. made it was for optic points. Where 
I'm calling you out because like it's literally because the distinction, distinction is irrelevant. Because the point the that I'm making is, is absolutely at the end, relevant. The point, no, it's so, not. The point that I'm making is that at the end of the day, absolutely relevant. Black, black, hold on. Black figures in pop culture Thanks. that are selling products, whether they have at the end of the line a white guy that's like signing their checks or a white guy that like runs a fucking company. At the end of the day, they are making conscious choices to include certain language inside of the pop media that they sell, and they want to sell that product to white audiences. Okay, if you go to a fucking Kendrick Lamar concert or a Kanye West concert, it's not all fucking black people in the audience. It's like fucking ninety percent fucking white people. Okay, so you can't. We can't. I understand. I understand. Wait, wait, wait. It's Okay, I'm almost done. Jesus. Okay, so now there might be like a white guy at the end that's making money off it, but it's not like they're forcing all of these black people to, to put the N-word in their media and only to sell it. So when I say <laughs> they want that, I do mean black people in Time entertainment this. that engage in that type of, uh, entertainment. That's all I'm saying. Oh. So I don't think the distinction matters there that there might be a white guy signing their check at the end because the desires are the same. They so. want white consumption of that media that contains the N-word in it. Well, okay, so, so here's what I do. Fanatic, fanatic, fanatic respond, right? And then I'll let Bosch, then I'll let Vivian That's going to be one. Okay? Yeah. Okay, really quickly. So look, it's 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 like you're make, you're doing this weird conflation thing where it's like, man, people are selling products and then you're like equating that with the N-word. Those are two different things, number one. And then number two- Product is the N-word sometimes. So, so who, is, who is selling the N-word? Who is Rappers that use the N-word in their- It's part of their art. What do you mean? No, no, okay, listen. It's one thing to say like this is like a, a like this is just part of the verbiage, right? Like I'm, you wouldn't say that a, a, a black person is selling the word the because they use the word the in their music, right? Yes. Like the, the fact that they're using the n word in their music. We're in the twilight their, zone. Part of their brand. They're not selling the n word. It just so happens to be part of their vernacular. What they're selling is themselves. They're selling their own image. They're selling just a, an entire package. Typically, that comes if with I would a music videos part. that comes with an entire image. But the n word is not a significant part, a significant distinguishing part, part of their image such that they would be selling that thing furthermore you mentioned the thing about like oh man they want to use they, they, their their clothes their 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 uh, you mentioned their shoes I know, or their whatever I know. like you, the fact that we don't own any of that stuff in the vast majority of cases now you might have kanye with his yeezys right but in reality the vast majority or Dr. Of, like, Dre or... yeah but, but, but i don't even remember jay-z having a, i gotta a i gotta say something i remember here. him having specifically fat farm or what was that was that p diddy right like the, the fact is yes these people do end up selling like clothing lines and stuff but if you remember one of the ma major clothing lines that they made was fubu which was really intended for us by us it wasn't really intended for white people to be wearing but they went ahead and did that anyway so we do a lot of this media is actually aimed specifically at black people it's just that white people can't help but consume it because it happens to be particularly beautiful and regarding that thing with kendrick lamar that girl in that situation it was very easy for her to record those lyrics without saying the n-word i played in a country band for about three years we played a song called redneck woman i never ever sang that song when i would be when when we, when we were on stage, Thank you so I would much sing chance every on other lyric besides that one because I would be playing to largely a white audience and I didn't know how offended they might have been by it. So I would always just stop at that line. It's not that hard. Or it's the same way how like- it's so weird. Or, 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 or it's the same way how like children, when they're singing a song that might have raunchy lyrics, will stop at the specific lyric in question and not say that specific thing in front of their parents. It's not that difficult. It's not that hard. It's not, shouldn't be part of your vocabulary, I mean, your vernacular. It's really, really, really simple. Just abstain from saying that word. We do it all the time. You, when, when you, for example, say, in video game or when you talk about when, when you wouldn't say the f or when you find a substitute right like there's plenty of times where we do this why is it so hard for someone to be expected to do that with the music when we know that this is a word that happens to be dehumanizing that people large amounts of people are really offended by as demonstrated really by the concert if it's so horrible then why the fuck is it in the song so much that doesn't make any fucking sense like the it's idea that you're okay, 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 okay. Uh, how is it when she's, say, she's reciting thing? your lyrics no, she's no, reciting no, your stop. lyrics how is it okay. horrible okay all right so uh i'll let i'll let bosh back and then a vivian um and then demon mama um Okay, uh, fair. So, all right, go ahead. I've had my hand up for a long time. But... Okay. So, first of all, Destiny, saying something misleading and then getting mad at me because it's rhetorically effective to point out your mistake is actually a debate tactic. I'd calm down with that if I were you because it's getting super tiring, all right? The fact of the matter is, is that black culture has been commodified in ways that have absolutely led to the dissemination of their values and cultural exports being spread in ways that they didn't have direct control over. The fact that individual black artists want their music to sell well does not mean that there is not a often True, a significant both. cultural difference between the broader will of the music industry, of the culture industry, and the artists who are a part of it. Second of all, no, wait, you actually got to the second of all part when y'all were talking. Third of all, um, well, I, I don't even <laughs> I don't I don't even understand like what what the the issue at hand here is. Um, we're not going to change our standards right now on the N word. If anything, it's only gotten more strict with time. If we want to um 
Yeah, we will. If we, which probably I'll a good thing. Right At now. least it's indicative of broader positive we social got, trends. Tomorrow's it's interesting then that um that we're so critical of like the specific semantical influences of the N word and how we use it and how we can use it and why it's wrong or bad or unacceptable if we're white but the fact that it's become more acceptable is generally indicating a positive social trend so if anything why don't we talk about something a little bit more productive why don't we talk about like are there any specific contexts where it can be used uh due to cultural influence or just a spur of the moment decision where a person wouldn't be considered racist are we too hard on people who use these moments in the spur of the moment this broader conversation on whether or not this ridiculous talking point whether or it not was a long if time the ago, word Lonnie. is bad it why do black artists ago. use it i mean we're probably regressing into conservative discourse here all right you can respond uh destiny if you want then we're gonna go to vivian okay. and then uh to your mama for mr finney okay listen if you literally have somebody, okay, you create a piece of art and it is a song. People sing to your songs, okay? And you show a person, yo, listen to my song. Like, don't you like my song? And you're like, oh yeah. And one of the things you do when you listen to songs, you sing along with it. How weird is it that in the context of your song, you're including words that if they were to repeat them while singing along with the song, they like become dehumanizing. That that entire like cultural exchange there, it's just mind blowing to me. I, like, it seems so crazy. Okay, it's, all right. It's, it's, no, it's really, really quick. It's really, really quick. Okay. Really quick. It's not particularly crazy. We do this kind of thing all the time. We make distinctions for certain people, right? For example, like maybe you have a sibling and you like might like uh, like joke around with your sibling, and you can say all that you want to and talk trash about that sibling. But the second someone else does it, it's not in, it's not in, it's not considered the same because you don't have the automatic presumption that it's meant from a place of love. In the same sense, like where I can call my brother and I can talk bad about my brother, right. and it's automatically assumed from the very beginning he knows I love him. So it's, there's this presumption of love that he's going to say okay yeah i don't know he know he doesn't mean it that way some random nigga from the street says it then all of a sudden it's a very big different thing i can fight with my brother and it's fine we could be literally throwing blows right um but the second somebody else wants to jump in and start fighting my brother now me and my brother are going to unite against that person right so there's plenty of times where we make clear distinctions because of the fact that we have this already True. automatic presumption because of some sort nope. of inwardness fanatic is okay sometimes for. I've so said just this because before. of the fact that i happen to make a piece of art and i'm not going to white people specifically and saying hey white people i want you to consume my art That's it's not even what's happening. It's just I'm releasing this music to the world. White people happen to consume it, and white people decide that, oh, all of a sudden I want to use this thing that you're using that's really specifically for you that we've already made a very clear distinction. I don't think that's weird at all. It's really, really simple. Vivian. Vivian. I think, I think Vivian. That, wasn't, that wasn't true. Vivian. 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 Okay, cool. Yeah, white people, buy, uh, white people buying, um, uh, you know, black music shouldn't, um, shouldn't say the N-word. And the reason they shouldn't fucking say the N-word is because uh, of what Fnatic was talking about earlier with, like, understanding struggle. If you're going to enjoy, uh, if you're going to enjoy culture that comes out of, like, uh, a group that's separate from your own, you should have some sort of respect for them. And in the United States, that definitely means having respect for the struggle of black people. And this goes to the shit that I say all the fucking time about the quote-unquote universal shared struggle. And more importantly, letting other people lead in their own struggles right and dictating the terms of their liberation and one of the things that black people in the united states have decided right uh is that is that like white people probably shouldn't be using the n-word right and when you engage with another struggle and they say this is the way that we want to achieve our liberation um it's perfectly reasonable for you to say well no that's too much or that's immoral or whatever if they were just you know if you were engaging with a black person and they said oh i just want to kill all white people perfectly reasonable for you to step back and go actually i think that's really fucked up and we shouldn't do that but like when it's something as like benign and effortless as just like don't say this one word right you choosing not to take that tiny 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 step signifies that you're not willing to engage with the black struggle you're not willing to let them lead in their own liberation right and so that's that's to me is why i don't say the n-word because basically black black this guy, Vivian, pretty liberation. problematic of you Sorry? Okay, for the okay, so the brother's wait, example, I think, is a, wait, why is, is that a, problematic for me? What? Hold on, hold on, no, 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 don't do it. Uh, Destiny, you can respond, then we'll go to Demon Mama. Okay, I think the brother's example is a really good example that you bring up because that's an idea of like a type of humor that you're using with another person that you wouldn't be okay with a third party coming into. So, for instance, if I was with my fiance and I'm giving her shit 
um, for being a woman and she's gonna be shit for being a dumb man or whatever. If some outside party came in and started shitting on her for being a woman, or one of her friends came in and started shitting me for being a man, right? This would be like, okay, wait, hold on, this is fucked up. Or, or like, there's a million other types of those types of jokes. They were like, well, well, hold on, wait a second, wait a second. Like, I don't know how you mean it when you say it. I agree with you that those types of interactions can happen on a on a personal level where you know the other person and it's that type of humor is different because you don't have to second guess the underlying motive. But I feel like that type of bond to some extent wait, is being Dylan created here? when you share art with another person. At the very least, when you invite that person on stage to perform your fucking art with you. I feel like that's got to be like a similar type of connection unless you honest to God believe that there might be a fucking card carrying KKK member that snuck into a Kendrick Lamar concert and wanted to come up on oh. stage and knew the lyrics to your fucking song just so that they could say the N word with the A in front of the audience like that that like I understand like when you when you talk about how certain people can be like part of a community blah 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 and I feel like music communities or art communities that listen to things can also be those types of communities and like if we're going to take this like broader stance that like oh well white people just should never say the N word blah 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 white blah 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 then like if that is really our stance then i will say this okay here's my jordan peterson quote black rappers have probably made more white people say the n-word more times than any other person in fucking history because all the fucking white people that rap along to songs in their fucking car or rap along to songs they're listening to say the lyrics are probably saying the n-word with it so my opinion so here's my opinion on that here's my opinion on that um because um on that specific issue, you're, you're harping on this. I've been waiting so long. In the, in the person, right? So I, uh, I, I remember this happening. Um, and in my opinion, so it shouldn't have been a big deal. I don't think it was a big deal. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not, it's not like I, I'm giving white people the N word pass or anything, right? But like, look, it was in the moment, right? Uh, and she said the word, right? And it's no big deal. Like, I, like no one needs to um, be canceled. No one needs to be hounded. No one needs to be harassed uh, the way she was. Um, I think, though, I, so I, I I get the urge to say it within the context of a song, having that shared experience, right? And that's what you're going for. Yeah, I, I, sure, right? But beyond that, but beyond that, why? Why, 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 Wait, right? Not I, like why a, sing a, a the words to any song you why? listen to? What do you mean? No, 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 no. I said beyond Wait, that, beyond, beyond. The... Yeah, no, 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 please. Ah. Um, so <laughs> beyond... <laughs> <laughs> but beyond that, I'm talking about in, in uh, especially in social co uh, context, right? In our one-on-one -on -one context, there's no we reason, Destiny, that you never need to say that word to me, right? There's, there's no reason. Probably not. Like, you I, sound like you get super mad. There's probably a lot of things I wouldn't say to you, though. Exactly. <laughs> but, <laughs> but like the this this urge, this urge, I saw it in college. I saw it in college with white guys, right? And always white guys. In fact, I don't, I don't ever remember, remember a white woman asking me, right? But always white men, specifically coming to me asking to say this one particular word that they had to say it right oh, that it just wasn't in their lexicon so and they even talk about other not even other racial slurs right and there's more than one right of course there's more than one than just the n-word right to black people so more than black people not that right it's just this one word that like because of the taboo of it all it, they, they, it has to be in their mouths no it doesn't have to be in your mouth you can just let this go there were anti-asians uh don't slurs, say that right? that's not there anti-asian slurs there are anti-Asian slurs that I will never say, right? Anti-Jewish slurs that I will never say. I don't know their struggle, right? I, I, I stand by my, uh, my Asian brothers and sisters. I stand by my Jewish brothers and sisters. But I don't know their struggle, right? I'm not a part of their oppression. That's so because not Asians aren't that. out there popularizing Asian slurs. Oh, so you it's think- It's not a big part of Asian okay, media okay. to I be really, out here really, like popularizing I, I, a kind of like, Asian slurs, right? I've been waiting right? so long. So, yeah, you can wait <laughs> longer. Hold the crap, holy shit. Same thing with Hispanic people. There aren't a bunch of Hispanic people that are popular Hispanic slurs, right? No, so huh, that's why people don't say those slurs. They're arguing to say no, those slurs. What difference, what difference does it make? What difference because does it make? You, because you made it sound like you don't want to say the N-word because it's just so taboo. That's the only reason I want to say it. That's not the reason why I want to say it. They want to say it because it's part of the most popular fucking cultural fucking movement across the fucking world, like hip-hop and rap. That's why people want to say it. No, no, that's no. Hold on. The then then, 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 then they'd, be ask, they'd be asking to say it. I need a soda so bad If that was all it was, right? Oh, I want to be part of the culture, right? And the culture, right? This culture that I'm involved in, the, the hip-hop world, right? Well, they're saying it there, right? Why can't I, within the context of the song, uh, just say that? That, right why, why can that be one thing but it's not, not asking for that they want to use it all the time in any situation right why 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 <laughs> that's not, I, mean, I can't that sounds really, really weird to me if some people if some white yes. people like, but i mean I white, possible, yes. but... lots of fucking and again white men specifically but my, that, my, my argument still stands though it's because that word has been brought and is so insanely part of the popular like lexicon and then combined with the taboo of it and combined with the fact that it's used nah. in like the most popular nah, forms i think of you, today, I like, think you yeah, saw I mean, drama like, and he of knows. course i'm just saying that, like you can't compare that word we'll to, talk about bad words for asian people because they're not popularizing those thoughts on this so, all right, uh, well, then uh, Demon Mama, and then we'll go to um, uh, we'll, we'll let Vosh because he wants to respond. And then we're going to Joe Lewis, okay? 
Destiny said like three things to me that I didn't get to address. Uh, oh, yeah, I know, I know. I've been know. waiting. And listen, between every step on the way to me, both Vosh and Destiny got a response, and you got a response too, Phonetic. So I guess I want to say one thing. Okay, first of all, there's a there's something we've been ignoring in this entire conversation, which is that who fucking cares what a handful of famous musicians put in their song that doesn't mean that doesn't represent the desires of an entire group of people who have been systemically oppressed in this country i look i'm white i fucking i can only draw parallels to my experience as a trans person with trans slurs and and that's a little bit different and there's a totally different history there but i think we can acknowledge that like the idea that like oh like you use this broad uh, destiny uses this broad term like they like are popularizing or whatever no they're really not this is them expressing themselves and as somebody who you know i tend to believe in the reclamation of slurs the reclamation of slurs is an act that it isn't super clean it, it's an act of saying hey no like i want to be able to take this thing that is used against me and use it myself in art to rep to express myself in a way that i otherwise couldn't I don't think that's popularizing it. I don't think that's, I, I think I agree with what Fanatic said before, which is like, just because the word is in there doesn't mean that it's intrinsic to the art itself. It might be a part of the whole piece, but we also ha can't overlook the fact that like, hey, look, even if it, even if it is intrinsic to the piece of art, all of the artists in the world who use the, who use slurs are never, uh, are, are, are never going to represent the entirety of the, the vast majority of the people who have been impacted by this shit. They can't, they don't get to determine that as a whole. And if a lot of people don't feel okay with it because of this, the obvious and blatant, and I hope that everyone agrees on this, historical context of the use of that word, I think it's kind of ridiculous to try and find a way to desperately get yourself at like an N-word pass by saying, well, the, the artists want to make money off it, so I should, I want to be able to say it too. Like, like, I don't know, it's just... Does this, does that make sense? Like, I feel like we're arguing like 15 different points and there's a whole bunch of random assumptions that are being made. And half of this argument is pivoted around whether it's wrong for some random person to sing the, it in the lyric. When I don't think anybody really cares that much about that. We're probably talking about actual racists getting away with using it and or the really, really, really awkward way in which some white people uh, go and push so hard to be able to use a word that obviously fucking bothers people. And I, and, and I disagree, I disagree with the point you that, that you said previously, Destiny, about like, uh, oh, it's so obvious. It's so obvious that like when people are using, uh, if people are using the N word in a, um, a positive manner, right? Like, is it is this so obvious? People, I have fucking fights here all the goddamn time, right? With conservatives about like the, um, uh, um, the dog whistling um, um, words that people use uh, here. Uh, the, the the conservatives that Trump used, right? Like endless fucking battles with them to get them to recognize obvious dog signals, right? And so, like, if you let the if you say the N word is now uh, normalized for everyone else to use, right? Then no, never. Then racism doesn't exist, right? For them, right? Like, okay. No one's talking but about you, like normalizing the N word. Like, you're gonna just call everybody the hard R now, and now they got all this cover. Like, well, well, I don't understand. Really are. Like, I just don't understand this. Word. I don't you, understand this. What? The one, the one no, you talk that about. has been this whole conversation. Like, like it is about normalizing. Yeah, how wait, hold on. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me just be clear. Wait, here. do you think I'm talking about we should be able to call other people the hard R in society? You said yeah, everyone or no one. Much. You said everyone or no yes. one. Yes, you did act, actually right. argue okay, for that. Prime, Prime. Wait, no. I'm right. talking about like using it as like it like. I, I you hate you're, you're making me say wanna, N word yeah, wanna, so much. Wanna, yeah, yeah, and, 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 and you will continue I'm talking to about like, when people, I'm talking about people, yeah, when people call each other the soft A, is what I'm talking I'm not saying that no, you call each other the hard, hard, hard back. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. What happened to dying on the hey, hill Prime, with the musket, dude? Prime, do you really believe this? Wait, Prime, do you think that I'm saying that we should just be able to walk around calling everybody the hard art? Maybe that's the source of no, all no, our no, 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 no. It doesn't even matter. Are we, am I going okay. insane? It does, it doesn't change that's a pretty, pretty no, important But it statement. doesn't change the conversation at all. No, actually, not this. Not this part. It doesn't change you don't think part, there's right? a difference between because hearing somebody say, like, oh, I don't like that guy. He's an word. No, 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 no. no. I, get, I get that. I get what you're saying. I get what you're trying to say, right? I That, that black people are using the soft the soft A in a familiar uh, uh, fashion, right? Yeah, so, the familial fashion A. Yeah, yes, that one. Yes, but, yeah. but as we all know, right? Like, you can turn fucking any word into an insult, right? If you but say But that's just an argument way. against, but like, protecting this one word, then. Like, any word, thug or homie or gangster. Yeah, but we can do that. No, but we can do that. We can do that. that it's just one word. Really no, no, no. It's, no, no, yeah. It's like, yeah. No, no, no. Let me get... No, it's not quite a great deal. Bullshit. No, I don't buy that argument. No, no, no. Everyone shut up. No. Everyone shut the fuck up. I'm talking about uh, muting every single one on you. I'm gonna finish my fucking words here. Holy shit! Holy shit! All right. <laughs> now look. So, like 
the so saying it, I get what you're trying to say, right? Um, saying that like there's a familiar way of using the the, the word with A, right? I um, never knew but, but, that I would but be here for if this. If we let if we just Danny, I'm sorry. That, if we I'm giving you a bonus. That, I got a lot of editing this, for you to right? do, Danny. And yes, the absolutely will. Racists will start dog whistling you're ready. with that, and they'll say, "Oh no, I I I, I meant it in a friendly way, right?" Like I, I'm doing it in a friend. You're doing. It I didn't know that I'm I would be a part of the second way. arc. And they will use that to hide by. Why don't even using? Why don't even bother any uh, uh, dog whistles, right? I know. When you, when you have this word. This word is now available to everyone else. No, no. These these yeah, words and these transformations. Don't worry. I'll I'll pay you for it. The K word for Jews. If it was like a transformation for that, I wouldn't use that either right i, like need, I not, really need a soda that's really bad i have to be a part of right that, that's something for my jewish brothers and sisters to enjoy too. that's what they want to do but i don't have to be a part of that but white white people True, specifically white men just desperately desperately need to be a part of this desperately need to have this in their mouth and they don't they absolutely don't, don't fucking do all right so um bosh bosh go okay so <laughs> um I just want to say the reason why the it's been popularized through culture, so if they didn't want it to be used, why popularize it through culture argument doesn't sit right with me, is in large part because black people really haven't had much control over how their culture got popularized. Initially, I mean, you had the Harlem yep. days, right, where you had all those clubs and um, the the culture that was produced there, whether you're talking like the musical or the dance, um, hey, was Vaughn, generally can you kept bring me within a diet those Coke? communities. I'm super and usually thirsty, white but I don't folk would come up. on by to Harlem to spectate because oh, they thought will. that black people you know being more animalistic are better at having a good time so these cultural no trends got appropriated and i mean even really today there are plenty of black artists who deviate from what we expect to see on the radio but what sells is usually what sells best Fuck. to white suburban kids and what that means is that the the industry will prioritize a select few voices usually right, the water. ones that provide the most spectacle and the greatest amount of okay, interest to their good. largely Ice white audience would be great, so to say Ice that's representative of broader black interest strikes me as odd it would be saying like um yep. if there were a bunch of milo yiannopoulos type you know like you can call me the f slur because i'm cool with it i'm a degenerate you know type of gay people that it would then be okay to start you know just <laughs> casually dropping the f slur on gay people and likewise there are some though this is to Silent, a lesser extent, yes. there are some like uh, trans uh, content creators i know who in private amongst themselves use like the t-slur with each other or they call themselves all sorts of horrible things you probably shouldn't call trans people but they do it in good humor and you know just the usage of these terms i don't think is itself enough of a justification for broader yeah, use yeah, because yeah, the context there is important the context is important i do think we can agree i hope we can all agree on this that the n-word along with every other word is not a magic word that inherently does anything it all lies in social interpretation and that culturally and contextually there are instances where it's more or less harmful it's pretty easy for me to imagine i provided an, earlier an example of the white kid from my school who grew up among black people and spoke in aave uh, to think of examples where white people using the n-word is absolutely not racist i think that it's a really tri like tricky social uh environment to navigate i don't know if there's a hard solution i Wait just I, I don't know why we're having the conversation we're having right now since nothing's going to change in this respect made, and made it seems solution. like this conversation is inevitably going to get co-opted by bad faith actors Fun. if it's this ever like spread wide enough so, and as a so, final so, point so, 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 ask... so, so joe has not been a chance to speak joe please oh, okay. go ahead oh, all right. hey how's everybody doing um can you hear me okay Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Sounds good. Um. Yeah. I saw Fnatic was was kind of having a rough patch, so glad to be here. Let's see. You Fnatic. should go for um, it, Lesp. Someone's gonna say something kind of a little bit broader, right? So, because there's a lot of like just dumb shit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try uh -oh. to plow through as much as I can. We got other people so, coming in. Though, oh boy, right, here we go. Hip hop is now consumed by mainstream audiences. It's traditionally made for and by working class black youth, right? And that the the sort of Social survival Joe within Lewis that is awesome, by is the way. based on its fluent use of AAVE, right? If we go just get going on the hip hop line for black MCs, right? That word was generally used as a substitute for things like guy, and for, for more like a modern case of like friend. And then even it later evolved into more like more gender neutral usage, right? Um, more so, black youth, on one hand, have a level of solidarity and identity with the use of that word within their in-group. And something that Fnatic, I think, is trying to allude to here, which I agree with him here, is that despite the fact that people outside of this in-group are using the word, that word is I don't know about you all, but I still got energy. In these We're breaking records tonight. With, and 
finally, I guess, like, I, I guess it's like something that people aren't understanding with rap, right? So when people talk about like, oh, there's like Latin we'll American people after. who are using it. Oh, there, there's there's Asian people who are using it. It's part of their cultural survival within those communities. That's why you see gang members who are outside of the racial categorization of the majority of that gang still use the N word, but it doesn't have like sort of this like multi applicable usage across these different out groups. I but wish I could, but I actually group, can't because we're on black. discord. I could, if we were on a different That's majority of them, it's still part of that. Like it's, it's at the end yes, is part does. of this in group Vermin, within yes, the black right. community. And, and also like, it's the same reason why Eminem 5 doesn't use I know. it, right? And if, if Eminem, by the way, the, the perennial if you haven't subbed to Demon like, Mama, you better sub right level now. When it sub. comes to white rappers, you know you wanna doesn't use and it like. within their music, then I feel like it doesn't seem too far of a stretch for just non-black people to just not use it in their. You know you want to see more of this shit. So this whole conversation could just be one that's like had in the black community, like the should white people use the N word or not conversation. <laughs> We've had this conversation but, a bunch of times. Like, yeah, I know. Right. Like, and, and it yeah, it's a, and and it will probably be an ongoing conversation at some point in the future. But most people have decided no, uh, you can't, right? And if you're gonna in, if you're gonna like indulge in black culture, if you're gonna buy fucking um, CDs by black musicians or fucking wear clothes made by black people or whatever, you can show them the tiniest amount of fucking solidarity by meeting the very very least, the most insignificant of their demands uh, in their you know for their fight for liberatory struggle and just not fucking say the n word right like it's it's not a big thing it doesn't fucking hurt you in any kind of major way just like let them you know even if you yourself don't fucking know why you shouldn't say it it doesn't really fucking matter because it doesn't affect you all that much oh you don't worry let me think for a while let me let me, let me, let me yeah. say something because jesse said a few things um and prime said something <laughs> which i sure. totally disagree Right. For one of the things that Prime, you said that it's no big deal, like when a girl was on the stage and saying that. Right. And for you, maybe it is no big deal. But we obviously saw the vitriolic reaction from all of that audience. It was clearly a big deal for all those people. I would also like to point Fair out enough. something. My dad doesn't like me to use the N word with him. I, I, I know we've had this conversation before. So I'm not using the N word as frequently as I freaking want to, except for when you I'm around it. my it's dad. Hell so the fact that we have an entire generation of black people that don't even like. You're other very black welcome, people Big Chuff. Thanks for being here. It's really wild to me to be like, no, no, it's not that big of a deal. That like some white person was saying it in front of black people and a bunch of black people recognize like no we don't want this normal life we're not okay with this this is not this is not something that we're okay with oh and then secondly this thing that you're talking about like well man they're putting it in their art and blah, blah 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 this sort of thing right there if we're going to take that to its end you're basically denying black people the ability to use some of their basic cyborg thank you so much habits and express that thank you so much arts, right because oh, black destiny's gonna lose it on a regular basis amongst each other the fact that we would go ahead and make our work I mean, make artwork, and our artwork would be a reflective of how we typically speak. The fact that we would be able to do that is absolutely. It makes, I think Destiny's just mad that he voted for Biden. Vote. But then you're now making this excuse that we'll. And he doesn't get to use the N word. The way you express yourself in your art. Once white people consume this art that you made for yourself to express. He's gonna say it. Amongst He's yourself, gonna say it. Now all of a sudden you're giving them a, an invitation to use the N word. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. Um. Then uh, 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 finally, there was one 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 more point I wanted to make. It's really really wild to me because like I'm really really struggling to get some words yeah, basically. here. You guys were having a trans conversation earlier. I recognize, even though I got plenty of opinions on this subject, I recognize it's not my freaking place. While you guys are having this topic, so I shut the hell up and back the hell up. But right now we're having a conversation with two white guys talking about the N word, and then everyone else wants to jump in and really insist and insert themselves, and sometimes not really even contributing to the conversation. Basically, just saying the same thing that we've already said. Like it is somewhat frustrating to me. Considering I recognize, I had the introspection and the self-awareness to recognize this ain't my conversation, this ain't my place to speak. Even if even if you guys are debating with Vosh, and I might have some points there, it's not my time. Like let 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 the niggas speak. That's all I'm saying. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I guess Channel Vosh, you want to respond to that? You yeah, can. I have a real question. Okay, when I was in high school and my black friends offered me the N-word pass as a show of solidarity, what was oh I supposed God. to do? Okay, wait. Can, okay. Do I turn them down? Can, do you just I, okay. politely say thank you, but I refuse because I have an ethical obligation? What do I? How do I let them down easy? You know. 
Okay, I want to respond to something Mr. F Fanatic said. Okay, no answer. So That's what I thought. For, for for the idea that like it was a big deal around those people in that country, I don't think it was a big deal. One, because when you listen to the people in the audience, there was some confusion. They weren't immediately awestruck by it because they didn't even know. And then two, I'm pretty sure there's a white person on right before her that wrapped the N word, and I don't think they cared that much there either, which probably contributed to her confusion. So the idea that, and even as you said, even in the black community, it's not like a settled question, and even if black people should say the N word. Um, now I don't have a fuck ton of black friends. I grew up with a lot of black black friends, but all of their fathers were really fucking conservative. And those households were really fucking conservative. And they did not say the N-word in any of those households. Holy shit. Um, it was just not Thank done. you, Gloomy. So, like, Thank the, you, The Gloomy. idea that, like, um, so, so yeah, so the idea that it's, like, a big deal or anybody, like, I, they're even in the black community, Lenora, my understanding is energy. it's, like, a very divisive issue. Number one. Number two, the idea that, um, the, I, I, I'm... I'm uncomfortable with this characterization that like black people just can't help themselves but use the n-word and all their songs as part of their culture it's part of their language it's part of... i there are a lot of really talented writers out there okay kendrick lamar is a really fucking smart dude i don't think that guy needs to use the n-word in a verse okay i think you can find a fuck ton of other words to use besides what's that the, one what's this, i don't know i, what's I don't know about take? Like, the, no, what, no, 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 this no, take no, is no, literally no, hold on wait this take was literally well okay i'm almost done with the third point this take was literally no, 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 no. like black people have to use it it's part of their vocabulary they have to use it okay and then no the third one and Okay, I wrote it That's down as notes. I... Okay, maybe it is. You can explain. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you can kind of. Destiny's notes are notoriously bad. The third one, you can kind of that. Okay, maybe I misunderstand. Destiny's notes are notoriously bad. The third one is the idea that like you made it for yourself to express for yourself, like to your own people. Bullshit. Death of the artist. You are not just making songs to give to your friends to to rap to your friends. These are things that are being released on major labels that are being sold all over the fucking world. Other people are going to take your art and they're going to consume it in their own way. If you truly believe that this N word is so fucking harmful that white people should never fucking say it then using it in media where well, you know the major consumer is white people is incredibly fucking irresponsible just stop using the word okay so it's really really simple number one nigga the word nigga comes out of my mouth all the time nigga whenever i decide to do it nigga so the idea <laughs> that this word comes out of my mouth on a regular basis means that when a nigga decides to make some music a nigga gonna put the word nigga in his music because that's part of my art that's part of my whatever no one ever made the no one ever made such a ridiculous statement that he has to put the word in his music it's something you would want to do if you would want your music to reflect your culture so if a nigga's using the word nigga on a regular basis then a nigga's gonna put the word nigga in his music because it's gonna reflect his culture it's going to re reflect his vernacular. So then that's no. something that most people would be able to identify with. Destiny if this is a word that we use on a regular basis, it's not about having to. It's about choosing to. You could choose to do anything. Like, maybe he likes rock, right? And he could choose to do that. You choose to make your art a reflection of yourself. So the fact that he decided to put the N-word in there, it's not a, ma a lack of it's not a lack of talent. It's not a lack of ability. It's not a matter of necessity. It's a matter of choice. That's what art is. It's a choice, always, or else it's not art. So the fact that he decided to do something is perfectly normal and it's we'll perfectly see. valid. We'll the see. fact that other large audience decided to consume that does not mean that all of a sudden it's an invitation, and nor does it mean that he should have to hamper or temper whatever the prick he wants to do specifically for because of the fact that well, white people are going to consume it and I don't want them to get a pass. It's already known that you don't got a freaking pass. Furthermore, you also mentioned like yeah that you've seen how conservative um, households really really are uncomfortable with the ends with the n word. Well, I mean I'm, as I'm sure you're very well aware. Lots of niggas are, pr are pretty freaking conservative, like my parents, which is why they don't like us using the N-word. So all you're doing is just really parroting what I'm saying. So if black people got a problem with other black people using the N-word, what makes you think that black people are going to have a huge problem with white people using the N-word who have used, so, used it historically so freaking harmfully? That's, like, that, that's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, he got it. He, he hit what I was going to say. Okay, um, I don't disagree. No, okay. I, half of what you just said, I just I agree with. People choose to put it in their songs, maybe because they feel like it represents like some culture they come from. But they could choose not to. If you are truly worried about other people saying it, if you truly think it's such a harmful word, if there's even a division in the black community over it, then maybe taking it and putting it to some of the most sold and most white consumption friendly media of all fucking time is kind of irresponsible. That's all I'm saying. Like if you're gonna cite like the black, if you're gonna well, if you're gonna cite, if you're gonna cite the black conservative sure. father there and saying like, oh well, look, they wouldn't be happy with white people using it. Yeah, they're probably not happy with black rappers using it either. Just don't use it at all. Then if it's that fucking harmful, that if some white guy driving down the fucking street rapping along with fucking Kendrick Lamar is causing the the collapse of black society, then maybe nobody should have their music at all. Or at least not that, music available for public saying consumption. That. Come on. Wait, but you you called it you you just called hip hop the most white consumption friendly music of all time when we absolutely recognize that it's 
like hard body black. Just the fact that we're a minority in the community and, and, and the music is literally made for us. But of course, we're so freaking attractive that white folks can't keep their freaking hands off. That no, you know, I'm going to be faster than that, gay fish. For black people. That's where it originated. The fact that this has been wild. Just like that. Oh, this has been a wild ride. On it and really, really big record, record labels got their hands on it and started distributing it to white neighborhoods and making it part of pop culture doesn't change the fact that its original inception and the typical usage is specifically aimed at black people. It's specifically talking about black culture. It was largely influenced by black culture. It specifically has in jokes specifically about black culture. It very much is a representation of black culture. So who are the mass consumers of it? Who consumes it the most though? White so people. What, so the fact what? that white people outnumber us, like in this country, they're over fifty percent of the freaking population. We're only thirteen percent. So yes, the fact I have. that the largest consumption of it. Thank you, Glooby. Thank you so much. Wait, it really? If we if we want to look if we want to look at proportions, let's look at proportionally who consumes more hip hop. Proportionally, more black people consume hip hop than white people. Proportionally, so the fact is, it's still a music designed for black. Destiny's people, take is absurd. No, it will be an all night consumer. stream. That's I'm sure people are going to get tired soon like, enough. But on. for let's now, let's say that you were, let's say that let, hi, okay, crazy hypothetical now. Let's say that oh, you lived boy. in post World War II Germany and you were part of a group of like uh, Jewish people that were putting out like uh, like J Jewish. I don't even know what the fuck Jewish music is called, but some Jewish music that includes like a lot of like very derogatory in jokes about other Jewish people references in your songs. Okay, and then you sold that, and let's say like eighty percent of Jews listen to it and they like it, and then let's say that like fifty percent of uh like right like fucking let's say height of world war ii okay fucking like german nazi people listen to it right would you say well hold on now i understand that they listen to it but they're just a bigger percentage of the population but like the, the fact is that it's made for our community like never mind the fact that it's being massively consumed by them never mind the fact that they might take a lot of that humor a lot of those jokes and use it in negative ways never mind the fact that like we're making fun we're making money off of all of that harm that we could potentially be causing like at the end of the day i'm just going to use the excuse so well it's meant for my people i don't really care who consumes it at the end of the day when everybody knows what's going on you know that when you're kanye west you know that when you're any of these like really famous rap people that when you release any of these famous rappers when you release an album it's going out to major mostly white people that's who you're gonna be a major customer so like i don't think you can use the excuse like well it's meant for us it's supposed to be in our community it's like okay come on bullshit you know who's gonna fucking can, buy it why would you include the n-word in it just get rid of it completely why do you need to say the n-word understand. in the music like so sure, you're hypothetical you have such a bad position right it's, it's really easy to have this really horrible position when, when if you don't understand how the music we got gotten to be, be how, how the music actually started being consumed most of the time these rappers actually start as like literally indie artists before they're picked up by a major make record label most of the time they're really distributing within their immediate neighborhood they're not even like largely distributing their music for white people they're literally just dis uh, distributing within their community then like i mean plenty of them started with yeah. mixtapes that they were literally selling out of the trunk of their garage i mean out of the trunk of their freaking cars so typically this music is literally intended for people to be consumed within their communities not largely intended to be consumed by by large white audience it's just normally the money comes with white audiences so after that then once white people start picking it up so are you now making the argument so you can make the music the way you intend to for in large consumption by black folks but the second you get on a record label you can no longer make your music intended for your community because now there's going to be more white people consuming it or how do, how do we how do we yeah 100 percent. this is called having a public platform being responsible with your messaging yeah of course what do you mean if we were if we were talking if we were talking about, point. If we Joe were Lewis. talking about literally any other topic besides the N-word, any other topic, every single person on this panel would be in unanimous, enthusiastic agreement that like, oh, of course, when you market some piece of art to a wider audience, of course you have to be more uh, sensitive about what your messaging is. Of course you have to understand that people are going to take your art and use it in a different way. For any other topic besides this, everybody would be in unanimous agreement. But because we're talking about this one specific word that people get so fucking weird about, then it's all of a sudden, it's like, oh, well, hold on. Black artists actually have zero fucking social responsibility whatsoever because the N-word is just part of their culture. So they have to have it in, in all of their rap songs and in all of their lyrics. Like they just have to, it's just part of the culture. And so, they have no responsibility so, for any okay. further harm caused by that. So, okay, that's an interesting point. Um, but hold on, hold on, hold on. we're going to go to Joe Lewis, and then we're going to go to Vosh. He got his hand up um, as well. Um, and uh, too quickly to you, Vosh, uh, to answer your question before, because um, I thought that wasn't meant for me. But, uh, yeah, that I would just say to my friends that they gave me uh, uh, a pass for some other slur, right? Um, that no. This is why I've literally gone. You can say, no, I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that. They insist, no, no, thank you, right? And you know what? They'll move on with their fucking lives. Um, but I'm not sure if that question was directed towards. But no, anyway, thank, I no, I appreciate it. I was, I was good in high school, though. So I, I, was, I was following the path back then. So okay, Joe good. Lewis and then Vosh. Yeah, help me out with this hypothetical, Destiny, because you, you asked the hypothetical, and then it looks like you went off of it. So are you saying, like, could you repeat your hypothetical again if you remember it? So let's say 
in, uh, in concentration camp Jews release popular hit music making fun of Jewish people, and they intend for it to only be listened to by other Jewish people, but they know that when they release it in Nazi Germany, most of the people buying it are going to be Nazis. Is it responsible for them to include all of those like cultural in-references, knowing that they signed on with a Nazi label that's publishing out to Nazi stores and selling to Nazis, and then at the end of the day, like if they hear a Nazi say one of their jokes, go, hold on, wait a second. That was our music. That was intended for our community. It's not cool that you're saying that. And then the Nazis are so well, hold on, like you guys are selling it in a this store is, for this us to is listen the, to and repeat. What like, the what fuck, you what the fuck is happen? wrong with you, man? You this sound is insane. Really bizarre That's what this is. Yes, what part is. of that is bizarre? And I will make this it a one-to-one like, one analogy for you. This is like if there's some part you don't understand. It's absolutely one-to-one. This is embarrassing. I'm not necessarily sure if the Nazi situation holds up, especially considering Nazis had were pretty hell bent on eliminating Jewish culture. So so help me out here. Like, are you saying in a hypothetical situation? Where okay, so Jews let's say we have two populations. Of... So like, uh, let me let me finish. Let me finish. You're saying if the Jew Jewish people at the peak of World War II somehow were allowed in Nazi Germany to create music that was derogatory towards themselves, but in a way of self empowerment, and somehow they made it to a situation Thank you where so they much, by the were way, for that brought Thank on you. by a Nazi label. And then yeah, exactly. Yep, one hundred percent. And then we're sold to Nazis in Germany. Would that be okay? Is this I, serious? I, what? That the reason why I think the reason why that ta that hypothetical is so bizarre to me is that you have to go through so many gymnastics just to rationalize the use of the N word if we're bringing it over okay, to so, the okay, N word. Let me, I'll just make right? it a general thing then. The, the analogy is one to one. So the idea is, let's say that you have it's two not population. one to one. It's one to one. If Jew, no, because if Jew, if Jewish people are doing that, it's a, it's a sake for cancel not cancel culture. Excuse me, for counterculture, and rap is counterculture. So no, rap today, my friend, is not counterculture. Rap okay? is counterculture. Rap, rap, is, cou rap is counterculture. No, rap I am is so counter -culture. sorry. Despite that is the absolutely fact, absolutely not true. I, under, I understand. I understand that this is like a weak part of your argument right now, but it's not. And I'm like, I can be very gentle about it, but but fanatic will go down your throat. So I'm telling you, like, to not Why not die on this hill. Why is it counterculture? I understand. Why is it counterculture? Because it is very popular, right? I just yes, I just but think, yeah. are black are black Americans part of the in the dominant in group of society? No, that that's that doesn't determine whether or not a piece of media is counterculture or not. I don't think you can call something that has been so so assimilated yep, know, into and so heavily commodified countercultural anymore. Just, Rap so and hip hop is literally the most popular culture in all across most entertainment mediums in the world. To say that's counterculture. It and absolutely despite does not make the sense. fact, and despite the fact Several that it's consumed by mainstream audiences, it's still traditionally made for and by working class black youth. And no, no, no. And rap is largely rap is mostly consumed by black youth too. Like, yeah. oh, I, I, I want to point out something to you really quickly, right? Like, yes, there are super mainstream artists, right? But for every one mainstream artist, there's like 30 underground artists, and those 30 underground artists are completely the white white population is largely oblivious to those artists. Those things are underground. Those That's things true. are mainstream. That's true. Those things aren't being consumed by white folks. So hip hop is still, for the most part, still black. And even these mainstream artists that you know, Kendrick Lamar, being in Compton, was all releasing songs long before he started becoming really popular long before grammy we're not talking about those that. songs we're so, not talking about no, underground no, rappers no what i'm what i'm pointing out to you what i'm pointing out to you i get you're not you don't want to talk about underground rappers we can talk I'm about them they might be counter no, no no what i'm pointing out to you is that underground i mean is that rap rap is not just the mainstream dribble that you get to witness right for every one mainstream song that yeah like, it's that way too low zero but it's okay consume, i get what he's saying or like 200 underground or no not even underground just 200 non-chart toppers that white people are largely you're ignorant. describing this is every art in the world of course right. so then so then rap music is largely consumed mostly by black people who are listening to all of rap music not just the stuff that's that, okay mainstream and i think I, do, I don't think that's true, but I obviously can't prove that. I know you can't prove it. You're telling me that every Whoa, black yeah. person is like an underground rap listening, like not every, not every, it's not in everything. It's not every, it's, the, it's this, that rap music is largely, mostly consumed within people's neighborhoods. Large, large, long, you can, you can agree with this statement. 
for every mainstream artist, they normally have large amounts of music and a large amount of discography, <laughs> large long before they ever get a record deal, which is largely consumed by mass, but by mass music, right? Fuckers. So consumed, consumed by the mass, right? Absolute we fuckers. We all start off underground. We all start off making You gotta save that. Alone. Send that. Can, can you our, uh, can you DM that to me, Gay Fesh? And that stuff is pre predominantly That's black. That's not what I'm so talking about. It's what I'm talking about. It's what I'm talking about. I'm making the point. No, that's not what you're talking about. If you want to see underground point. Rap, I'm, I'm not making. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, let's just cut to the issue. I agree with you. If you're gonna say underground rap is counterculture, I agree with you. But don't say rap is counterculture. I'm not talking about counterculture. I'm just saying that rap is largely consumed mostly by black people. It's not mostly largely consumed by white people. Like it, the largest consumers are white people. Now it might be as a for mainstream rap. Yes. For mainstream, so I don't. Well, yeah. maybe even for underground, because I'm pretty sure in a lot of underground shows, there's a lot of fucking white people too. I'm, now do I don't know. Okay, no, but I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, we're, I think we're getting lost in this stuff. This is probably. This is, we're not getting lost. I don't think we're getting lost. No, no. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna but, tap because I gotta get a, I gotta get a vac shot in less than an hour. Okay, thank you, love you. Bye, Joe. Um, uh, Take care, go ahead, Bosh. Uh, you right. want to say something? Um, yeah, okay. I, I honestly think that this topic is a complete red herring. So Destiny earlier talked about Jews in Germany and the promotion of anti-Semitic language through Jewish media that was popularized in Nazi Germany. And I think that would be analogous were it not for the fact that we're talking about the soft A here. I think that the N-word soft A is unique, at least to my knowledge, it's unique, in that it's pretty much the only slur that has been selectively reclaimed, you know. Uh, maybe not amongst all groups, but there's definitely a unique relationship between black people and that word. It's not like like the K slur with Jewish people. Don't think they're just like casually calling themselves that in private. They could be. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think they are. So the problem with that is that because it's a word, the soft A, that black people use amongst themselves sometimes, but don't feel others can use, that means that inevitably, as long as that dichotomy stands, it will remain a fact that the use of that word will be popularized in the kinds of media that black people produce. Because the kinds of media that gets picked up by record labels will be the kind that is the most intensely fascinating to a broader audience, and that will usually be ones which best reflect characteristics that are endemic in the black community. This has been happening for a century. Uh, I mean, all the way back to horror, even before then, too, with like gospel hymns and shit. I mean, it's always been the the blackest culture or at least characteristics that are simultaneously foreign but still palatable to a white audience. Those are the ones that get, uh, you know, promoted. So it's a fact. As long as black people use the soft day with each other casually, it will get popularized in public media. So this whole question about responsibility on the part of producers of media is honestly a red herring. This is inevitably going to happen. The real question is, what do we do with the world as it exists now? Do we it's try to depopularize the, the use Everybody. of the N-word amongst nope. black people? Yes. Thus they do it le Hold on. Thus they produce it less in broader media. Thus it gets normalized less. Thus everyone uses it less. Do we acknowledge that the system we have going right now is flawed, uh, but somewhat stable? Um, or do we all just try to denormalize the word as much as possible and push for everyone to use it? Now, personally, I think there would be severe consequences to the first and third options for a wide variety of reasons. I think the best option that we have right now is to try to rectify and refine the system that we have presently, which is in certain respects yeah, arbitrary. I know. I'm not going to deny that. And sometimes I do think True white people lie. get shafted a bit. And I feel for that white girl at that Kendrick Lamar concert. I really do. <laughs> she looked really confused up there. But I, I feel like instances like those are largely an outlier and an exception to what is broadly an okay system we have going on that generally does an okay job of discouraging overt racism while allowing black people the freedom to reject the roots of their oppression linguistically. So I, I, I don't know if there's a hard solution to that. It's not like there's some policy you can just or at stamp least a soft on solution. This. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, All you right. know, I'm a, I'm a reformist, you know. I'm just trying to take those incremental solutions. So, so, so. let's go to uh, our relevant and dear mama and uh, Red. Wait, I think. Wait, I just want to say thank you. Um, it's getting pretty late. I think I'm gonna go. I had a wonderful time. Good luck with the rest of the convo. I just I need some food before I go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Good night, Vosh. Thank you, Vosh. Right, good night. Well, I, I, I just wanted to. I just also you know just I'm still going. To, I, I didn't want to okay. say anything except that I was gonna say that I'm gonna I'm gonna hop out. Okay. Bye. Uh, for the record, my position is. I don't think white people should say the N word, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. Good night, guys. Very great. Thank you. Good night. Um, okay. All right. Uh, relevant. <laughs> all right. Um, 
So I, I think kind of a, a core aspect of this conversation isn't necessarily what Vosh was getting at. Um, Vosh seemed to get at like kind of like what oh, I, we Gatefish, ought I think to you do underestimate necessarily to as position. a result, like pragmatically inside of society. That, to my knowledge, isn't what could be talked about and I think is more important, which is whether or not it can be wrong for a lot of black artists to be able to put the N-word inside of their uh, their music in the capacity that they have, or what have you, whether or not they continue doing it, it's, it's all right, like, Lan Lonnie. Gonna continue Zan can catch it, the VOD tomorrow, regardless of like almost anything. It's just gonna happen. So I don't necessarily think the pragmatic argument of like, well, are they actually gonna do it? I feel like that's kind of separate. And I also, um, I really wish he was here because I feel bad about addressing his points when he left. But he was talking about how it will just happen. Good night, Neuro I never liked this argument. I mean, please do. We Lonnie. could say you know you'll that have a lot of fun. political this whole thing was awesome. can use the F word because it's going to get popularized anyways. It's going to happen. So why would it matter if we use it? I don't like the argument of it's just going to happen. Hell yeah, because dude. then it obfuscates any reason for us to actually have any moral culpability towards our actions. But just to address uh, a point specifically, and I kind of want to address this to the room if we had the evidence to believe that you know these hip-hop artists using the n-word inside of their media cause a disproportionate or excuse me a massive um, uh audience it's okay, Gayfesh, white don't worry i'm gonna upload to use the, the extra amount and want to use the second part in public we are going and to. that was the explicit we are going to reason why is because these black artists were putting the n-word inside of their uh, lyrics. We still got Would like it fucking 300 people watching. Even if they are using it, which I agree with the idea that yeah, we got 300 people watching. We're definitely still a, doing a post to talk. speak to Don't their worry. experience. Would we'll it be, be that long, though. morally permissible um, under that system or that criteria? Sure. So to answer your question, yeah, I think it absolutely would still be morally permissible for them to continue to use the word. Um, I think it's really, really insane to me that we're even going down this this path of the conversation. Like, I, I feel like it's really, really simple, right? Um, someone said it in my chat, and I thought it was really, really poignant. Is that white people who want to be allies to black people should recognize that a lot of black people don't like it when white people say the N word. So you can respect that and just stop because it invokes racism. Secondly, that's white okay, Gabe. I understand. The of black people cannot recognize that, and they invoke racism for some black people, and they don't care. Lastly, black people should not don't do have it on their stream chat. Make white people who don't care about the feelings of black people stop generally saying avoid it. They don't care, and if they did, they I don't know. We'll talk about it. that it's chance. Really freaking clear. It's a bad word when coming out of the out, out of white people's mouths. Um, I don't feel particularly bad for that for that for that girl in the Kendrick Lamar concert. Um, I, I think it was pretty obvious to most people there. I don't know. I don't know how you saw the reaction and saw that white black people were confused. It seemed pretty cl clear the very first time. They no, I have to talk about this, word, please. They immediately please. started re reacting. Let but, me um, talk about this. Concert, I need that. I won't be able to sleep if I don't. Coming out of people's mouths. Promise. Um, but the second it became clear and people recognized what was happening, I need there that, was a very all. pretty. So, uh, solid response uh, from pretty much everyone. They were just like, whoa, 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 whoa. You could hear a literal thunderous reply there. Nobody was comfortable with that. It was very well known that she shouldn't did it. Obviously, we know in, uh, Eminem knows that he shouldn't say it. You have all of these other white people that know that they don't use it. We've had literal outcry over Jennifer Lopez using it. I don't know how she escaped all of that and somehow was confused that, well, I just figured because it was the lyrics in a song that it was okay. Like, I, th no, one, no one should have been confused about that. Nobody in the audience really sounded confused. It's really, really painfully simple. Do you? I, I want you to answer relevance prompt. Let's say that we could say demonstrably. Let's say that we know to be true. And I would even assume it to be true. I think you have to, unless you're being incredibly dishonest. There would be way less usage today of the N-word with the soft day in all of society, especially by white people, if black artists didn't use that word in their music. Do you think that makes it like, sh shouldn't they just not say it then? No, because as I said, the, the final part of it, it probably was too long-winded, so it probably you missed it. Uh, black people Am should I not have their culture here? censored to make white people who don't uh, to make white white people uh, to, to to control the actions of white people. I, so I no, think it was. I think I was supposed to go at some point. Our art and our self-expression, just because of the fact that some good white night people with Otro. See you soon. Inappropriately, that they should. Okay, okay so then you just there. accept that a lot more white people are just going to be using the N word because for whatever reason, it's such an, an integral part of black culture that you have to say the N word while you rap, and that's just an important part of the black experience. And then that's just an. So, Acceptable, like, sure, like collateral right damage. Be, right? I, completely, I completely reject the notion that we have to do anything, as I, as I feel that it's, it's a complete mischaracterization. Secondly, it's all I good. absolutely recognize that just that I can't control the actions of other people, but I will not censor my action and my art and my expression amongst my culture specifically for the benefit of 
hoping that I can curtail the actions of people who are doing things that are negative. Like that's not my responsibility. My art and my responsibility is to express my art and be as true to myself as possible and do things that are more identifiable amongst my community and amongst my culture. So the idea that I'm going to restrict myself from behavior specifically because white people might take license based off of watching me do something that I'm allowed to do, that sounds a little bit absurd. And then just to be clear, my final question, and then we're going to go off for it. You, would, you acknowledge that you would never, ever make this argument for any other form of art to ever have existed in all of human history. Sure, I would. So there's plenty of times where we recognize certain things have been like normalized, right? For example, the Q in LGBTQ. Not too long ago, during my lifetime, that word was... A, was Wait, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, let's say somebody has some action that is that is seen as incredibly disgusting and offensive and horrible in, in, in broader society, okay? Let's say it's... I don't want to use a kid. I don't know, I think the key is analogous. Just, some, like no, 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 no. Let's, let's like say that somebody, somebody, let's say somebody, has, a piece, somebody has, a, somebody has some piece of art that's just wholly disgusting and horrible, and it's something that we condemn in society, and it's gross. And somebody decides, like, well, I'm going to release this art for everybody, because it's part of my community, and it's part of my culture, and fuck you, I'm not going to censor myself for it. You would be be okay with any other like cultural movement or cultural group making that argument to, to oh, preserve so their art in the public medium well i don't know I, i'm having a hard time following your analogy because i can't think of another piece of thing where something is wholly disgusting by an entire group of people but then normalized by a group of people and used and made as a euphemism specifically <laughs> to aid in their healing process and then consume them i reject that i don't buy that i might sound this like an asshole so, but this i reject this idea that it's time. part of the healing process that we have to have the n-word in our fucking lyrics and Please, I, don't, I don't i don't i don't i don't i don't buy that I, uh, I totally I one million percent. I one million percent, not it. even. I, I believe you, and I believe it. A uh, ten billion percent. I understand that you reject it. Jeez. That's part of the reason why a lot of people would be really offended with you using the word. Because if you can't understand part of the reason and the methodology behind us deciding to make this word a euphemism, not just me, but also it, like it, half of the black community as well. Not just me, but also a lot of the black community. A lot of the black community. Okay. Even. Finish your point. Okay. So even though there's plenty of black. Plenty of the people in the black community who choose not to do it and choose to abstain from doing it. I think all of them this are is pretty wild. much aware of the reason why some people are choosing to. Now they might disagree with it and might say, even still, I think it's more harmful than whatever. Like my dad does. He knows the argument. We understand why people are making it a euphemism. It's just whether they choose to engage in that themselves or think that it's wholly beneficial. So yes, the fact that you can't understand that is a very clear distinction between you and most black people. Okay, Demon Mama, uh, Vivian, and then uh, Relevant. Okay. So, um, one second here. Okay. So, um, God, like, first off, uh, I, I, I feel like somehow we're missing the, like, really, really important historical context of the difference, you know, between a white person saying a slur and a black person saying a slur. There is a historical context that adds meaning to these words that is important for us to recognize. Secondly, for some reason, and I don't think the, d the data exists on this, but for some reason, I really do not believe that there are more white people now saying the N-word in any form than there were in the 60s. Uh, just knowing my, like my own racist relatives, I have a feeling that that is actually not true. I feel like that's a presupposition. Uh, and yeah, and third... Every single marginalized group does reclaim slurs. And I can speak to this for, you know, I don't, I, I, only as a parallel. I am not black, obviously, but I am trans. And a lot of trans musicians do use slurs in their own music. And it speaks sometimes very, in a very healing manner to a lot of people because the context of a queer, openly queer person or an openly trans person using a slur to describe their experiences via art is a very and obviously different context than some person who is not that, who has not had any of those experiences using it for whatever reason they want to because they want to feel edgy or they want to feel like they're the most rational person on a panel or whatever reason that you want to come up with. These are obvious contextual differences. And I feel like this entire panel has been like, I don't know, like, it's like, are we just really not going to acknowledge that there's a massive contextual difference in the meaning of these words, depending on who is saying it and why they're saying it? If I was to write a song about my experience being trans and I was to talk about the slur being used about me very, very uh, brutally in a song, and obviously, I believe that everyone besides perhaps the most 
uh, calloused and uh, socially incapable individuals would be able to understand that me talking about my experience reclaiming a slur that was used about me is very different than other people using my art as justification to say that they should be able to use that slur to further harm people. I think that, like, the position... Look, the position Destiny is taking on this seems to me to be just totally off the wall and ignoring of all historical context, all actual context to language, and it's flattening it out as if the word is the same and the exact same in every single usage, and we all know it's not. And also, I really doubt the um, actual facts of the N-word usage uh, going up as a result of hip-hop uh, and rap versus, oh, I don't know, that we've actually had major progressive change in this country. I don't think that we live in a time where the N-word is used more than it used to be. Sorry, I just don't think that's the case. If you can find the data, I'll, I'm open to change my opinion on that, but I don't think it's true. Okay, uh, Vivian and then Relevant. Oh, so, um, Frost said something earlier about like the uh, the N-word being like one of the, um, one of the only words you can think of where this is like happened um I, to such a degree and i caught myself thinking about like the word queer um and and i i i think fanatic bringing up is perfectly fine i think it's like really close to analogous not completely analogous um but like i definitely still wouldn't feel super comfortable seeing the word queer come out of like a, a cishet dude's mouth um some some queer people some lgbt people are perfectly okay with uh hearing the word queer come out of a straight person's mouth me personally i'm not because you know i got called it a lot as a kid um me too and i i i do think that um you know i oh shit you just fuck. I lost. I lost the end of that. That's fine. Whatever. It was a good. It was a good fucking analogy. And also, I'd like to reclaim the T slur as an well. Idiot, so. But so many trans people tell me I'm not allowed to, and it makes me sad. Well, uh, you're allowed to. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Um. So Thanks. I just want to get a kind of a gauge of the individuals here that agree with Fanatic's argument. Um. And correct me if I'm mischaracterizing your argument, Fanatic. That the basis with which. Um, you believe that the black people should be able to use the N-word even if it is proven that it causes more white people to be able to use this word in a harmful fashion or at all, which seems like is a harmful fashion to the general consensus of the room, that um, it doesn't matter because of a they're speaking to a cultural or a lived experience with the word. Is there how many people here agree with that idea that it's okay for them to say, even if it's proven that more white people use that word? You're missing a big part of the conversation that happened before you were here. Specifically, it's not just the fact that it's it's part of their cultural experience. It's that typically the music was originally made and is still particularly aimed at African Americans. It's specifically okay, a sure. yep. it's, I add that it's, it's aimed at sure. So it's, because of the yeah. fact that it's a part, yeah. Sure. So, so sure. Yeah. Yep. That, that, that's why black people should be able to do it. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, is there? I I would say that like I I don't think that uh that just because uh like a racist society uh like decides to utilize art against the people they're racist against that that's a justification for them to not do it. Like there are all kinds of things that sometimes have you know that sometimes could have bad outcomes. And again, we have not determined that that's the case, but if it were. Uh, there are all kinds of things that can have bad outcomes that we nonetheless uh, say uh, this is not on the – like this is not the responsibility of, of like an artist or the people who are the victims of that um, to, to stop doing, that they need to be further restricted. Like we should address still in this circumstance the fact – white people would be using it in a racial manner and i do recognize that like if such data were to exist i guess that you would be contributing to giving them more ammunition with which to be racist but isn't the problem regardless still the problem um isn't isn't the the problem still there the fact that they're being racist not the Uh, use of the word we'll get to that yeah we'll get to that I just want to gauge this one specific question. Sure. Yeah, we don't need to quantify. Just make your point, please. Like we don't have to. Okay. The re- the reason why I like to get people's statements on a given issue is because I think it's about to change. So let's say Jesse Lee Peterson comes out and he's now a musician and he uses the N word religiously instead of his music towards his audience. Do you think that you would argue against Jesse Lee Peterson's use of the N word as his audience is? Per- 
really so you would you would right. think that wait He's so right. is it okay so that's enough even if they're using yes. it a, for a, towards an audience that directly d d it instigates racism and he for an individual that propagates racist narratives like i'm sorry i'm black and slow and things like that it doesn't matter for him because so, just because he's black it doesn't matter no. so listen i, I want you on record. record wait 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 did we did we this, this is absolutely so uh, I, I thought this i i, 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 I have a clarifying time. question just just <laughs> yep, just, go for just, it. just quick clarifying question did did we not already say that like none of this conversation was like based off of like targeting people directly like that we were already ruling that out as like not what we're talking about like for example um i do believe that like uh like trans people have the right to reclaim the T-slur. Um, but sure. that doesn't mean that I think that it's an okay thing for like Blair White to call people the T-slur. Like we ruled sure. out that like using yeah. it as uh, a hate, like I is different. As a pejorative yeah. towards other, yeah. And right, I right. don't disagree with so that. So would that not I'm be what you're talking about here? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. It's just, let's say he's using it in a generalized sense and just saying things like I'm black and slow. That like well, not using it necessarily as a pejorative, but no, just what, using whatever. it as with a negative. You would say whatever to that. I mean, it's no, so like you would, me. You would have a, you would have a, know, you would have a like, problem with his overall message in, those, in that situation. Yeah, that's that's that, yeah. It like, see, just specifically the hold on, word. Hold it on. would be specifically hold that the overall message that he's okay. sounding like it's nah, like it's harmful towards black, like 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 Candace Owens, right? So Destiny's a, a baby. Of it's okay. That word, and it wouldn't be an issue with that word. It would be an issue with the overall message. Everyone will so see these things. So is the negative utility generated by Jesse Lee Peterson's statements in? in that let's say he comes out with the you know those his albums he drops them is the negative utility generated um larger as a result of him using the n-word in that given context i don't know not necessarily like i, I don't think him, really? i don't think him wait i don't think him using i don't think him using the soft a would make it like so much so, something worse than like whatever the overall message is in the word i don't think that the, i don't think that the n-word is some sort of multiplier why or hold on okay so, great I'm just, I'm just, why i don't think the I just answered yeah. it. I don't think that the it word is a multiplier yeah, or an amplifier of an individual message. Yeah, so why? Why? Why don't I think that the N word is an amplifier or a multiplier? Correct. Because because it tends to be. I don't know. Why some, would you, like, because it tends like, because it tends to work that way. If a white person says, I, yeah, if I hate you, black person, that's not going to take as much negative connotation as I hate you, N word. No. If, it's usually a force multiplier because we so, take it as one of the no. most harsh things. Yeah, wait, yes. Wait, no, hold on. So white, hold on. So Can I get you on record? Confused. Can I get you yes, on record? Give me on record. So if, a white person okay. was, if a white person was to make this statement, like, mm -hmm. I think all black people should are, are, are less than human and they're animals, um, I don't mm -hmm. think it would be significantly, I don't think it would be like a reduction from, I think, in words are animals. Like, I don't think, I don't, I, like, or, or less so than I, human I don't animals. think that's what relevant okay. is saying, though. Relevant. I think what, I mean, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'll go right back to you. But, um, I think he's talking about not just, like simply for an overt statement. That one, it's like, Saying black people are animals is yeah, it, yeah. You, you're getting your point across, right? Um, there's yep. not much to multiply there. Um, but it's talking about like within any other statement, with any other context, right? Well, give Negative me context. Give me an example then, because I don't know I, what he's talking about. Give, give me, me one. one. Uh, 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 like I hate, um, uh, I hate black people music, right? Um, and then you say like I hate n-word music. Like that's a different. That's on a different level, right? Like or, wait, I, wait, I, wait. With the hard R or the soft A, just so we know. We uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> hey, really quickly, Destiny. I just want to. And I agree with that, here. Prime. I want to you really, really, really quickly. So even within Black people, a lot of Black people don't know a lot of local artists, right? So this, I've had this experience myself. So I was raised in obviously Los Angeles area, and there was an artist named DJ Quick. He was literally on all the radio stations. I'm he so confused. He literally completely ran this area down here. He was on all the promos for ninety-two point three The Beat and all the other major radio stations for hip-hop in the ie and la area right um he was particularly well known i was completely shocked when i talked to oh i'm still East going y'all and they literally never heard the name it's because he was a local artist but consequently they were also doing the exact same thing to me and they were telling me about all of the big uh hip-hop artists in new york that were in that scene that i was not particularly familiar with at all because at, at the end of the day the vast majority of hip-hop consumption is local artists specifically aimed at specific local communities i mean that's true that i don't deny that might be possible I, I don't have like i don't have the samples i'm just saying i'm sure a lot of
lot of white people in Simpsons too. I like I know that like in Chicago, fucking um, No Name was she was underground before she started to get picked up a little more. She almost fucking quit making music entirely because she said all of her audiences were fucking white people. Like, and she was so fucking sick of it. So like, I, it wouldn't. I I don't know. I can't say honestly because I don't, I don't go to any fucking concerts. I hate concerts. But like, it wouldn't surprise me that if I went to like a lot of local hip hop artists, unless you're talking about people that literally play shows for like ten people in somebody's garage probably gonna be some white people that would be my guess but maybe even a lot of white people depending on how big the the local artist is i'm okay, i'm a little relevant, i'm a little relevant, lost relevant, as to the hypothetical relevant. yeah relevant. yeah we are it's, it's going so far man it's going so far like what, right. what so what's so, your point exactly so, can you say it so quickly okay so i i just want to touch on a point that i constantly hear brought up and then we'll bring it right back to my original point so the the constant point that's brought up about the local artists and hip-hop being made the vast majority I'm of songs so in hip hop and now. rap being made towards black communities does not really get to the point being made here. It's primarily at that if the, if that was enough of the argument and we could leave it there, then we would say, well, when they blow up, when these black Abby, artists blow up, um, why do they I've been constantly going for 12 use the hours. in that way when it's a much larger white audience? Welcome. That's more of the question. That's so you can't say, well, yes, a bulk of it is made for local audiences and so therefore right it's primarily targeted towards black audiences no when it distributes to the greater wide world you know drakes and what have you that have literally a global reach to people that have never seen a black person in their entire life then you you, you can't really give an excuse for that because at that point he's no longer catering specifically towards the black audience and you would have to say okay so let's take a look at his work I so I don't really like the so I, I allow me to just yeah just get back well so I'm about to get back to my original point so if I don't know Prime if you want to no, please take this thank okay. you Sad all right Sam, so my original that. point of bringing up um the discussion That's in right, regards Doge, to Professor. whether or not Jesse Lee Peterson in the uh, Force Amplifier or the Multiplier for the N word or what have you is because if you don't believe the N word is a multiplier in multiple X Y Zs of the situation why are we even upset about it. If, if you're upset, uh, the reason why I'm personally upset about the N-word is because it is a force amplifier, See you because it has a unique force amplification whenever it's put inside of a situation. If it meant no, something no different than I don't like black people, I would consider it the same level of corn, uh, uh, condemnation as I don't like black people. But you know that there is a unique vitriol when it comes to the N-word. So I don't think you can simultaneously hold the statement that the N word does not is not a force amplifier and have the same this whole discussion in the first place because we don't have well, this isn't like that, wait but th that's that's contextual and again that's that's going back to what we already discussed before before you joined the panel right like we already agreed that like using it directed at an individual is no, well, no matter I'm wait, not even all? talking about that yeah but but it's not necessarily always a force amplifier. Like, for example, I've been thinking right now of like, okay, look, I got a lot of problems with like Blair White and stuff. But if Blair White released an album in which she drops the T-slur, like just like, you know, I'm a whatever, like, you know, T-slur and like, that's not going to force amplify anything at all from Blair White because she is and she has experienced that even if I think her she's shit as fuck. Like, but now, of course, th this, of course, context would change if she was using it against somebody else, and she has, and I would agree that, as we all already agreed before you came on the panel, that using it directly is a unique cir circumstance because it is being used to direct animus directly at somebody. I don't think that in and of itself it's always a force amplifier. I, I just don't. Um, like, I think maybe maybe to some degree, but not necessarily to the same degree. I think that— I think it's just—it's like, it's like swear words. Like the word fuck is like generally a force amplifier. There might be ways when you don't use it, but basically any statement where you use that in, in addition to whatever you're saying, usually you're like upping the severity of the statement in general. There's we can probably yeah. imagine ways where that doesn't happen, but I think in general, that's usually how these types of words are used. Uh, true, but I mean, but we're talking about different degrees. That, remember that yeah, the original the conversation topic. we were talking about is white yeah. people using the N-word, or in this case, uh, or, or if we're going to talk about my situation, because you asked me for if, if there was a similar for me, uh, you know, a non-trans person using the T-slur. Um, I mean, I can actually think of some examples in which this happened. Um, and like, God, like, I don't know, like the, the, the whole, the whole fact of the matter is that like, there is a context difference when you don't come from that community, when you don't have that history, when you're not identified with that group, we recognize this, right? Like, I feel like, I feel like we all would normally recognize that this is the case. And then like for this conversation, we've suspended that, but 
we acknowledge that it is different when a white person says a word that is uh, that is deeply deeply associated with white oppression or so irrelevant uh, irrelevant then uh go to fanatic because okay. um I, I went fanatic really answer this so if the argument is that because it stems from my lived experience or some negative repercussions set of my given lived experience and that therefore i can throw kind of negative utility to the wind meaning that if we if there is a greater body of people that are consuming whatever it is the media that i'm distributing and using that as carte blanche to be able to use the word or whatever phrase that i'm talking about and that's fine let's just keep it on the n-word like that's fine because it's my given lived experience then i'm just genuinely curious like what basis do we have because this was my argument or the foundation of my argument for uh, a responsible platforming on in when it comes to politics so if i as a black person have because of my lived experience oh, essentially stream a, a green card to be able to just say whatever i want in regards to my lived experience regardless of worrying about my rhetoric i find it pretty interesting and i i could i genuinely think i could find a couple people's tweets inside of this chat room where in which they criticize certain people for the way that they speak about their lived experiences in xyz category blair white or uh, uh you know Je uh, jesse lee peterson candace owens or something like that i'm sure i could find some statements from some of you that criticize their rhetoric in regards to their lived experience uh and how they portray it or the t types of terms that they use in in portraying it because otherwise if your statement is genuinely that i can use the n-word regardless of on the basis of my lived experience regardless of the negative effect that it may cause the general public i mean how could you criticize my rhetoric in regards to my own lived experience mm, i think this is not the same argument and i can explain something thank you uh so like if we take you guys' arguments to its end basically what you're saying is uh once once black music starts getting consumed by a larger audience it has to become uh more inauthentic uh, so as to be able to be consumed by other audiences, um, and that would alienate to to their fans this. and alienate their artwork. It would, would water down their artwork to where it no longer represents them. And I think that's probably really harmful. The idea that we that that now we have to curtail our artwork and make sure that now we're, we're no longer making the art that speaks to us and our lived experience and our culture and our um and our and our in groups and our community and all those things specifically because well now that white people are starting to consume it, you guys got to just stop because otherwise then they're going to start being harmful for them. I think that's a little bit ridiculous um furthermore i don't think no one ever said that black people can just say whatever the freak they want with yeah. it whenever it's in their lived right. experience i think that's a bit hyperbolic this conversation has been really confined and constricted to just the n-word so taking it to all of these other extremes right. does nothing to the actual argument that just sounds absolutely r ridiculous well and, For, well, and no, if no, i could no, respond no, to that no, real no, quick no 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 we're not why am i i'm not, I'm not gonna say it why am I even when, here? When we're talking about point? Candace Owens and her speaking her, her, her speaking her her lived experience and stuff, it's not about like her speaking her lived experience. It's that a large portion of her lived experience is, is directly empowering to the white experience yeah. and directly in contradiction to what the average black person would say. No, I just I want to respond to something that was monolith. asked of me directly. I know we're not a monolith, but we do have pretty things that we're all pretty common about that we all understand that racism is still real for the vast majority of us that you do have your jesse lee peterson and your and those hodge twins or whatever those freaking that those niggas names are or candace owens you have those different people but in general what she's saying the general messages that we're speaking with that she speaks are typically what we consider to be harmful it's not individual things that she's saying or it's not just that oh well, you're speaking your lived experience it's that you're speaking something that's incredibly harmful that largely deviates what we believe is her lived experience as clearly represented by the fact that she was really willing to sue niggas for racism in high school but then still saying i never experienced racism because i just never cared about it um so yeah it's it's about the d direct contradiction of her lived experience to what i mean i agree with i agree with fanatic and what it sounds like is her tokenization and empowering the voice of whites and saying all of all of the white things that white people wanted to, that, that some of the more racist white it people is, wanted yeah. to say and using that in her platform and no i i get it but i also but i also want to be able to respond to a question that was asked of me how do you feel about lil peep there is a lot of controversy so um especially in emo rap i hate that i know this because i hung out with some people that listen to a lot of this horrible fucking music but um so in a lot of emo rap and then lil peep especially a lot of that rap is talking about his lived experience and a lot of that lived experience includes a lot of drug usage a lot of really bad drug usage and this guy literally od'd on i think it was benzos and like fentanyl 
or or he had like a Xanadu that was like cut bad or with fentanyl. He he killed himself by overdosing. A lot of people point to the fact that like this type of music um, is literally like encouraging like oh, the, no uh, like a, a, a reinterest in things like benzos for people to abuse. Do you think that yeah, him I mean, talking about his about lived experience slur, and glorifying like, like other that type too. of abuse of like benzos and okay. shit is that that's like an okay message when to put out his fans because it's his lived experience? Does he have like no responsibility for that? Or I'm just curious. Wait, wait, is this directed well, yeah. at me or no? Because I, I feel like yeah, I was I'm asked a question. Sure but that's what? Right. Go ahead. I would imagine that he's talking to the black guy and asking this question specifically. Yeah, just and I'm just gonna curious if it's the same as how you feel for like several related like the N word. Yeah, so so I, I think there's a very big distinction there, but yes, I I would agree with you. Okay, that, this um, this is getting really sort of weird, champ. Would probably be it's getting like really weird, champ. That it would cause large amounts of harm, and that like obviously youth are like particularly impressionable, and like all of those things, right? Um, and so so yeah, in general, I would say that that, that there is something that is uh, that there is something to be said for being responsible about your about what your message is i love that like destiny has been and, and driving this but it. if i try to say but something I think that when you have like i'm doing bad or something or really really understood within culture to be something very very different but depending on the mouth that it's coming from such as the n-word that you're no longer having to be responsible in the same sense of trying to protect these yeah, people like destiny literally came on this panel well, to argue well in favor of using the n-word like shouldn't be using what whereas when it Isn't comes so? to something because yeah. it feels like we still argue about it all the time so I need to stop you. Are you literally trying to make the argument that white people don't know that it's not acceptable to say the yeah, I'm saying that those the rules around all of that. Like when Obama said it, people lost their fucking minds. Like I'm just saying that. Like I, I don't think it's fair to say like, oh well, it's clear cut. Like what's going on? Like it seems like there's a lot of people. Like the, we talked about the girl that went on Kendrick's show. Like I don't know. It seems like there's a I... lot of like argument or debate or confusion over. Whereas there's not around like other words. Like nobody's arguing confused, they should be able so... to use like Asian slurs or Hispanic slurs. Nobody says anything about that, right? It seems like this word is like particularly polarizing or particularly confusing in terms of like what the rules are around its usage Wait, especially so, because well god i mean i just so it, it sounds like you're really really trying to push some like really smarmy narrative here and i, and I, I hey, don't, hey, don't call it smarmy yeah i am well, not being it. smarmy i think everything i'm saying is pretty on point i don't know it's i could not point. On point. That's it. Well, if we were to poll the average person you're going to tell me the average person doesn't know okay let's, let's ask you this do you think that there are that the average person would feel comfortable using the n-word like the average white person would feel comfortable using the n-words around black people that they don't know do you think the I think, average person would feel comfortable using the N-word around black people they don't know? Really simply. Yes or no? No. The average – okay. So then it's not really contested. Oh, that's not, not what we're talking about, though. That's not what we're talking about, though. If, 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 how about this? How about this? If we were to poll somebody, do you think it's possible to use the N-word in an endearing way more so than, like, the G-word for Asian people or the wetback word for Hispanic people or any other slur or the T-slur for um, trans people or the F-slur for gay people? How many more people do you think would be like, oh, well, the N-word is probably more acceptable there than any of those other slurs? Most people no. probably say – Oh my this god. Okay, yeah, I can't. I, 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 can't. Let me respond I don't think you're I don't think you're actually engaging with the conversation. I don't believe that you actually can respond that way. Hold on, hold on. You can't tell me I'm not actively engaging in the question if I'm literally responding to the word. This you're is saying. so weird. I understand you fully. I think you just don't like my argument. You just don't like my answer. But it's okay. Like you, you said that you like this conversation or, or whatever. Here's a black guy to actually explain to you the way most black people think. I'm, we're not a monolith, but the, but but just based off of conversations that I've had with people in my community and within my culture, this is something that's reasonable. So don't shirk, don't, don't shirk away from the conversation. But it's really really. Oh, simple. I mean, I can handle it. I'm, I'm tough. I'm just like what the average person is going to look at the N word and say that it's less harmful. Or, or, or I'm I'm sorry that that the, that the yeah that that the N word is less. I did have dinner. Yes. Than all of these other. Some words. time now, ago. I do I do recognize that that most people would understand Some that time the word can be used for a euphemism amongst black people sure but i don't think that most most people would look at the no prime does not have a co-host in all of the others i'm not, saying, I'm not talking about like and i'm not talking about in terms of less harmful i'm just talking about in words that have been reappropriated one of the things that people keep talking about here which is very interesting to me and i fully admit it could just be different lived experiences people oftentimes throw around this term uh like slur reclamation people will talk about this I honest to God think that like when you talk about the N word, it is way more this word than any other word. Now it possible it might be possible that different communities act in different ways, but like I have a lot of personal trans that will never say the T slur. That is not a part of their normal vocabulary, even amongst other trans people. They're not calling each other T slur all the time. Um, I've known a few gay people that use the F slur a lot. Generally, when I was younger and I was in very conservative communities, I don't know if that's like an internalized thing or if they just generally liked it. But like I don't think that gay people walk around calling each other the F slur as much, or trans people call each other the T slur yes, as much. Yes, they do. Because black people use the N slur, like I, or be. So 
soft, and soft yes, A or whatever. They do. I think that the status that these words have, or Asian people call each other the G slur, or whatever, or any or any group of people. I think that the N word, in terms of like slur recla like reclamation, has a very unique place in society yeah, compared we, we to any other slur. We know what's going on here at this point. Yeah. It's all good. I want to give uh, Relevant a chance to speak. Go ahead, Relevant. Okay. All right, I'm so going to head off here, Sam. When it comes to specifically the slur reclamation and previous points and, and stuff like that, because there were some things I hadn't addressed, but like, I, I want to address the, the, the rhetoric point yet again. That's fair. A I don't little know. Maybe, just maybe, maybe I, don't, just I, I don't know anymore. The, if, if I don't have to worry about my, because I have a lived experience, we'll stick specifically with the N-word. I don't have to worry about the negative messaging that I portray based on my use of the N word and regardless of negative utility, then like, I don't understand how we could hold this position yet again with our positions on responsible platforming as uh, political streamers, because I, as a political streamer, my basis with which uh, I make my argument for uh, responsible platforming of specific words is that specific words are um, when tailoring towards a given audience may not understand the full body of context with which the uh, word might be used. If your argument, if fanatic, is that all white people know that not to use the word, then why, then like, why would using the word negatively impact send that to me at all, regardless of whether or not they were DM black that to or, me. or white? Why would that negatively impact the utility of broadcasting that message? Meaning like, what do you that like, I'm okay, I'm sorry. right, 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 right. So let's say a white person uses the N-word on Yeah, I'm getting screen, out of here. This is this you, is right? a waste of my and time. Everybody knows by your argument, everybody knows not I, to I use can, it like, anyway. A white know. person uses it on screen, right? Versus a black person using it on screen. What is the difference? Well, so if every oh, simply because most people know not to do something doesn't mean that people don't do taboo things and doesn't mean that some people don't decide to be edgy or decide I don't know. I've correct. It's like, been people very weird. Not, people know they're not supposed to cheat on their wives. If people do sure. it, it doesn't make it any sure. less of a problem. So the, the fact I agree. That, That's my so, point. So That's fact Destiny's that the word point. Is taboo, so, so wait, so the fact that the word is taboo and that wait, our relevant agrees people, with I Destiny here? The vast majority of white people know that they shouldn't oh. be using the word simply pointing out to the fact that why do why does occasionally oh. some white people do it? I, I don't know. How does that detract from the idea that most white people know that they shouldn't and that it is still harmful when those individual white people that make the decision to do this thing yeah. that we know is taboo like wh wh why would that why is it why is it i'm not, not muted right now i just can't say anything it, by that same uh, argumentation we've gone through this argument very very much and i don't want to get circular here i'm pretty sure destiny has heard this argument enough to be able to understand the idea of shared oppression and the automatic presumption of mint uh, of, of not meaning it in a harmful way okay. but i get you are here for that conversation if you need um, me to go back through it I no no i i know i know that conversation i was literally listening for an hour before i came on oh, okay. so, so then if you want yeah. to be asking the question to the, the reason question, the reason yeah, yeah the, re the reason why is because i want to hear you say because again I'm, you're, you're gonna contradict your previous statement in my opinion or at least the general public will feel like you contradict you you're about to contradict your previous opinion <laughs> the general so public if you come specifically on. are All making right, that the argument one. that hey the, just because like i as a person let's say i'm a what white person is this taking shit? in the fact that a black person has a lived experience with the word as you said correct the one of the reasons why it's more palatable is because that black person has a lived experience it is now yeah but it wasn't me before, as a white Gina, it was fun could look at somebody before like jesse lee this. peterson using the n-word inside of a song or what have you and say this is a black person with a lived experience of using the n-word and the context that he is using it is not in a good light or a negative light of the black community and that could reinforce my position of being able to use the n-word in a unique way that a white person could not fulfill do you believe that that could be the case? I am so terribly sorry. I'm having a hard time following. Okay, I can, I can restate. Yeah, it was a little bit long-winded. So a white person using the N-word by your own uh, statement does not have a lived experience with the N-word, correct? Right. So therefore, right, sure, yeah, correct. So you were, you're saying it's wrong for them to say it. That's fine. Let's say a black person, now Jesse Lee Peterson, goes on to make a bunch of albums and use the N-word in negative connotations, not necessarily pejorative, but like dog whistly, uh, like replacing with like thug and things like that, what have you, uh, in those given contexts. I'm so fucking Do you think that a white person right consuming both of those types of media could take away different results? One where in which they look at the white person using the N word and be like, yeah, that's not the great, the best thing in the world. Clearly they're white, but they could also look at the black person and say, this black person, like you said, has a lived experience I gotta, I gotta with the do my end of stream talk. Don't worry, don't worry. Context. Surely, 
That must mean that it is okay or somewhat permissible to be able to use it in a similar context. Do you believe that a white person could go, take away with that? Take no, away I, that kind of. This is so convoluted, but it sounds to me like. Let me make sure I'm at, I'm understanding your question. Holy so fuck! I'm gonna. I'm going to actually. I'm going to commit the, the, the last online twelve years ago. In a really negative way, right? Yeah. Would the, would the white person look at Jesse? Yes, we will. Yes, because I I need to get my not, thoughts out on this before I go to bed. Okay, and therefore think that they could say it. See you, Glooby. And, Rest no, well. and, and Don't think worry. that it is a more okay to say because a black person is saying it. He's asking about tokenism, like Milo yeah, Yiannopoulos saying gay people are, or Blair White hurting transgender people. Like, yeah. Can I say okay, one thing? Because I, I got to get out of here. Like, this is starting to get to the point where I'm actually hating this conversation. It was very <laughs> interesting earlier, but this is fucking ridiculous. Um, mm -hmm. Like, it makes no sense to me. This is so circular. Here's all that I'm going to say, okay? And y'all can keep arguing or whatever. Like, I don't have all of the input. I only can speak for my own personal experience. By and large, by the way, I agree with you, Fanatic, just for the record, for, for almost, mm -hmm. almost every point. Um... The, the, there is, a, you know, to restate my earlier point, I think there is an obvious contextual difference between a person of an of, of a, of a uh, historically oppressed group using a slur that has been used against them for their own purposes, taking control of that, and some random other person who doesn't belong to that group further using that to further, you know, reinforce uh, uh, that, that uh, hatred on them. I think there's an obvious contextual difference there that we've just been ignoring. Now, the other part of that is that we're not talking about not being able to criticize any person who's a member of a minority group. Like, I don't know how we got to this. The fact of the matter is, I think that there is a negative utility, you can call it that, whatever you want, from saying as a, as a rule that, we sh that, that people can't reclaim slurs that are used against them. And uh, there are lots of communities, by the way. I, I, you know, I don't know exactly how it compares to the N-word, but there are all kinds of slurs that get re re repurposed. And I could, I have a lot of... I'm a trans woman with a lot of trans people in my life and a lot of uh, gay people in my life. And there's a lot of slurs thrown around lovingly to one another uh, in totally, you know, quiet, personal, whatever. So what I'm trying to say is that, like, I, 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 I think there's obviously a contextual difference here. We're not saying you can't criticize anybody, um, but there is a negative utility in restricting people from being able to reclaim those things for themselves, especially when it is initially used as a tool of oppression in the first place. And I don't really think that whether JLP or whatever does it uses it in a song has, especially given that we're not talking about using it directly against somebody, really matters all that much. So that's my final word on this. My name's Demon Mama. Uh, thanks for having me on the panel, Prime, and I'll see you soon. DemonMama.com. Go to DemonMama.com. Thank you. You got it. See ya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Holy shit, everybody. Oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, my God. I have 10 million DMs. Yeah. No, I'm not fucking ending, by the way, yet. I need to talk about this. That was one of the stupidest endings. Oh, God. We had a great stream. What a fucking fantastic stream. But what a dumb sh What a fucking annoying conversation. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just tired. Like, what the fuck? Like, I feel like at the end, it was literally, like, delirium. Like, it was just no... Like, what was anybody even saying anymore? Like, Destiny just really wants to say the N-word. That's the takeaway. Destiny fucking really wants to say the N-word, and I don't get it. And the fact that we had that entire conversation, the fact we had that entire conversation without acknowledging that there is an obvious contextual difference between a white person saying a slur that was historically used by white people against black people versus a black person reclaiming the use of that slur in a non-directed context I don't know, like, what the fuck? Like, I just feel like this was obvious. Uh, yeah, like, this is the, I just feel like we were being taken on a goose chase, right? Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. No comment. No comment. Listen, the earlier conversations were fantastic. I had a lot of fun. And I think the path of peace has been forged, hopefully. And I don't mean that that uh, that Vosh and Vivian need to be friends or anything like that. But hopefully, they can there can be a ceasefire. That's what I hope for. The path to peace. Listen, I had a lot of fun 
with that motherfucking conversation until the end. Um, yeah, look, look, Vermin, I understand. Listen, we have pr we we have different experiences, and I can understand that frustration. I mean, literally, Vivian owned up to having a personal dislike of Vosh, but it did sound like Vivian was at least willing to consider n like a, a ceasefire. Okay. I do, I do think that Vivian came off uh, not so great in that particular section, but it's okay. This all happened because Vosh brought up Destiny? No. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, not today. Not today, Vosh. This happened because of me. All of this happened because on my pa on the original trans panel, I threw down the gauntlet. I challenged them to a, to a, a debate afterwards. That debate led directly to a bigger conversation and then my drama got brought up which meant that destiny tuned in to watch when my drama started and then destiny came in when destiny came on vermin went to vosh and then vosh came on but it was me i told you guys i literally go watch when you see the vod i looked over and i said I'm going to throw the gauntlet down. Chat, I'm going to make the challenge. There's going to be blood tonight. There's going to be blood tonight. I said that into the camera, and you will see it on the VOD. I just made a fucking month of content for Twitch, okay? I just want you to all recognize that. Not only, not only did I motherfucking make my own content, I made content for the entirety of the Twitch political sphere. And that, that, my dear imps, is hell energy, okay? That is hell energy. And I dropped the most base takes of the entire day. And you all motherfucking know it. <sighs> so I hope every single one of you still watching at this point are subbed. Yes. Oh, of course we'll be putting. I can't do the FMAB review right now. I feel like I'm going to screech. Uh, time code 12-26-40. 122640, Alora. 122640. True, true. The AD5. Listen, if this none of this would have happened if I hadn't received the AD5D 2D Derek uh streamer victory, uh stream stream quality content award. I can't right now, Hexagram, but I can in the future. Yeah, it's true. You absolutely fucking good fucking job, silent. Holy shit, this was a fucking gold mine of co oh, oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Listen, I'm gonna send off the stream with a treat for the fans, okay, everybody? I'm sending it off a treat for the fans. Give me a sec. Hello, hello. Yes, baby mama has arrived. Today, we rose hell, and you know it. You know we did it. It started with the all trans panel. Then I threw the gauntlet and I promised you blood. And you got your blood. Did you not? Are you not entertained? All I'm going to say though, listen, I'm going to turn off the voice for a second. I just want to tell you all, listen, we're going to have how many viewers we got right now? How many fucking viewers we got right now? We still got quite a few. We got 228 viewers. All of you who are watching right now, I just want you to, I just want to take one self-indulgent moment. That, well, okay, this whole last few segments has been self-indulgent, but I've been making content for you all for 12 and a half motherfucking hours, okay? So you can allow me one minute to be super self-indulgent, okay? Approximately one year ago, I started streaming. I started streaming after having been a fan of streamers, watching all kinds of people on the internet. And... Those, some of those people that I watched was, you know, Bosch, The Surfs, um, The Majority Report, a lot of different people that I watched. I have now been on multiple panels alongside Vosh. I have gone up against Destiny. I apparently have the entire hate of, D of DGG. One fucking year. I'm just telling you all, listen, I'm now uh, somehow found myself in the part of round two of the N-Word Andy saga. The Surfs came into my chat, which is amazing. So, I just want to take a moment and celebrate that. Because you think this is you think this is awesome? You guys just wait. You wait. 
to see what I have in store for all of you in the future. Mama stock is going whoosh, way up. And y'all are here right now. A year from now, this channel is going to be fucking bumping. And you guys are going to all be like, yeah, I'm an OG Demon Mama imp. Been around since the old days. Been around since the days of the broken chair and the shitty mattress. You remember when they said I was going to have 100,000 subs by the end of the year? Oops. Oops. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Thank you very much, Five Meow. Thank you very much. And also, thank you so much, Pi All the Time. <sighs> Just saying. All right. Tonight has been an absolute blast. Today was a legendary stream. And the content that we will be getting from this is going to last for quite a while. I know, I only have 7k subs. Isn't that strange? Isn't it weird? But listen, one thing you should know about Demon Mama. Demon Mama does a lot with a little. That's what I do, okay? I make miracles happen with little shit. Little bit of stuff. My crappy room, my ca generously gifted camera, which before was my phone. I do a lot with a little. No, no, no. My chair is not broken. That's the chair that's broken. That's the old broken chair. Stream, the, the imps bought me this chair. This chair was bought by the imps. This one is good for my back. I would literally not be able to do this if it wasn't for this fucking chair. Are you fucking kidding me? My back would be dead if this was my old chair. I'm not kidding you. This chair actually fucking, I sit up straight all day, every day. My back is fucking strong because of this shit. Now, just watch. You know this this shit's going to be the talk of the town every think of the spice that happened today. We had the spice in the trans panel. We had the spice in the post trans panel. We had the destiny trans spice. We had the destiny Vosh trans spice. We had the Vivian versus Vosh drama being aired out live on the air and then we had the beginning of the N-word Andy saga which was somehow more crazy than the last n-word andy saga what the fuck was today i'll tell you what it was that shit was mama power okay year of the motherfucking imp i told you i told you year of the motherfucking imps Yeah, yesterday, okay? Listen, I I am good. I am a mess at this point, okay? I need to go fucking chill for a while now, okay? Thank you all for being here today. I look forward to seeing you again soon for some more content, you know? Oh, you know it, Ziggy, you know it. And I'm just gonna say, you know, if all you imps are having a good time with this and you want to hype it up a little bit you want to go upvote some posts and re repost some shit come on let's do that right feel free is all i'm gonna say okay much love to oh you know i'm gonna vermin hands you know i'm gonna much much communal love to all my imps and just know this channel is my channel i am here to entertain you and teach you some shit and we're going up good night for now Mwah, mwah.